from the planet Oa to the motherland of Wakanda, across the Atlantis in an invisible jet, forged in the fires of Krypton and trained in the streets of Hell's Kitchen, enhanced by Weapon X as we spit game on high in the watchtower, we are the HNIC head nurse in charge. We back at it again. Hey. It's good to see you. Yeah, it is. So like, I didn't just see you not too long ago. Listen, but... see, you ruined it. You ruined my intro every single time. Yes, they know. Whatever. Jay, good to have you back. It's good to be here. Oh, my man. You got something special for us for the end of the show, right? Uh, Yeah, I got some some things I just wanted to put out in the air when, when the time when, is right. When the time is right? When the, when the time is when right. When you're feeling in the air tonight. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You're already no, making no, it weird. No, Don't make it no, weird in front no. of the guests. Don't make it weird in front of the guests. As you might have noticed, we are all sitting as tight as butt cheeks at the Taco Bell. But that is because we have someone special. And he brought his someone special. So we wanted to make sure. Oh, yeah, that was, it was heartwarming, wasn't it? That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> we got my man 50 grand. I have enjoyed your videos for a long, long time. And I finally had the opportunity to jump in the DMs. I slid in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. I wasn't fresh, but he definitely, he, he was with it. I jumped in the DMs. I said, "Come." No, no. You, you realize when he did it, he was laying on his stomach on the ah! <laughs> As long as I don't have my feet yeah, up. Yeah, I was just about to say, say. You going, you had your, he had his feet up. I did not have my feet up. Don't tell that lie. Don't tell I that lie. I was there. Oh, that, you wasn't supposed to tell that part. What? You know, see? Oh. What does that even mean? <clears throat> Sassy. Anywho, I'm trying to Start give an introduction to the incomparable, the highly intelligent, the mildly insensitive, but overall, oh, they, they, wait a minute, that, that, we're going to talk about your critics. We're going to talk about everybody. Oh, I have critics? You have critics. Oh, I have critics. And I've watched, I've watched your fans destroy these critics online. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, viciously. <laughs> they quick with it. Yeah, they, oh, bro, they had memes. They, needless to say, we have Steven, Wade, and I'm going to add the junior. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all can't hear the applause <laughs> in the background, but you should be clapping right now. Clap, clap, clap. Means so much to me. <laughs> and I'm allowing you the opportunity to introduce your lovely lady to our fans and listeners. For those who don't know, this is the wonderful, the amazing, Janae. Hi. <laughs> She's the light of my life, the center oh. of my world, oh my God. the center of my universe. Listen, you can see the sheen <laughs> on his cheeks when he's saying. That's how you know it's love. I love black love. <laughs> That's why I can't get in a woman. That's that's a strong one. <laughs> <laughs> don't start. What you about to no, say? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't even. No, nope. All, All right, go ahead, bro. <laughs> no. Go ahead, man. One of my favorite things that I think a lot of your fans, the people who follow you, appreciate, and one of the things I I highly appreciate about your videos, not only informative, they're hilarious. I don't know if you if you had any fray in the comedy, or if you tried any stand up, but dude. You might want to look into a, a, a hustle. But I love that you stand up for those who are marginalized, who may not stand up for themselves. What prompted you to even do this thing? Um, honestly, it's, it's weird because you see people go through stuff all the time. And I know that we all go through things, but when you look at it on a social level, there's so many things that get layered on top of the things that already cause issues for everybody. You know, there's being black, there's being gay, there's being trans, there's being et cetera. So now, something that's a part of your identity is causing a problem for you in real life because people can't handle being around you. For something that, it's not, it don't got nothing to do with you. It's not something that stops you from sleeping at night, so you shouldn't have a problem with somebody. So, that's why I say the things that I say. Go, go, go. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> I say this every day, and um, I slowly but surely lose like one person every day who decides they want to delete me because I always let you know like there's the door if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, because you know what? I, I when I first told the crew, I said, "Hey, do y'all know this guy? Because I like his videos have gone viral. I, I mean, you've gone viral a couple times." Like, I, 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 I consider it virility. Like, if you don't, if, if you don't know, do yourself a favor and go follow Steven Nate. Wait, do you have a fan page? Um, I know no, you're on actually. Instagram. I know you're on Instagram. What's it called? I just have my public Facebook. 
Um, I was thinking about making a page, but it's gonna be real hard to build that. I hope that uh, everybody who is a fan and a friend can go ahead and follow that when it does become a thing. But outside of that, I just have my Twitter and my uh, and my Instagram. I think that is so super cool because that means it's natural. That means you wasn't doing it specifically. Because, you know, a lot of people do it for clout. Mm. Like, they're trying to build a brand or they're just trying to do something. Like, it, it, it almost makes you even more cooler because just <laughs> it's who you are. I mean, they think that's what I do it for, though. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> oh, there's, oh, there's so much I want to talk. Because that, you know what? Forget this. Our show, we're going to do it the way we want to do it. We're going to talk about us in a little bit because we just had a very spirited <laughs> debate about us. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of that in-game trailer. We're going to interview Steven. We're going to talk about some things that's, that, that, that happened on the internet, going on with him. And we're going to finish out our March Madness bracket. And I'm going to let Jay take that over. And he's going to hit this home run. And we're going to go through the Elite Eight, the Final Four. And we're going to double winner this week, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to knock it all out. That's what I'm talking about. So we, we're going to get an answer. I don't think Captain America is making it to the end this time. Probably not. Really? Maybe, maybe not. Where's your faith? Huh? <laughs> not in Captain America, I tell you that. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no white saviors this l- time. L- listen, <laughs> she, she knew she knew where her love was because she rocked the shirt last time. Yeah, she rocked yeah. Spider Man. That's right. And That's he ain't right. making it either, Negro. What? Just so you know. Why? That's what you think. You need to calm all the way down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let, let me, let, all right, let you me. You up here. All right, well, we look, need before you to we get, look, here. before we get rowdy, it's interesting that you, you, you spoke about how, you know, whenever you speak your mind, there's always going to be somebody that disagrees with you. Mm. What are some of the things that you've experienced? Because whenever you're, you're vocal, and you're honest. And there's validity to your points. I think one of my favorite videos was the one where you, where people bow out of arguments before they're fully completed. And you're like, I made a point. Like, don't bow out. Like, that's, that, that, that's corny. Like, if I give you valid points, then either retort or be quiet. Or acquiesce and just say, hey, you know, you got this one. Have you experienced an influx of negative feedback with your videos? Um... I can't say I got too much negative feedback. Usually when it happens, it's like one or two people here and there. And before I even open my phone, somebody already tore them to pieces. <laughs> so there's not really much I have to say sometimes. Whenever I do get involved, it's usually something small. And if they're not trying to see the point, because like I always try to see the other person's point, because I can't have my point and not acknowledge what they're saying. Mm-hmm. But when I notice they're not trying to see mine and they're clearly there just to argue and cause a problem, usually the block button is what happens. Yo, that's, uh, I laugh because I, I got to witness it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> I like jumped on and it was just some random guy and he was talking trash about you and just he didn't agree with you or he, he said something crass and I, I, that's when I realized you had a following. It's one thing to have a fan or two. It's another thing to have a following. Like a cult following. <laughs> see how I chimed in oh, on that one? Listen, bro. Oh, they're a cult now. When I, see, when, when I say they rose up like the right hand of God and destroyed him to the point where you jumped back and was like, ooh, why? Like, the, you posted this meme of you piggybacking, like you super oh. imposed. Oh. Yeah. We know exactly what they're talking Yo, about. And he was like, the internet, get him. And, and, <laughs> and I laughed because, you know, Everybody's tough on the internet nowadays, mm. but very few facts. <laughs> <I know. laughs> See, now we we start talking about other facts. We're we not going facts. Yes, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of internet warriors mm. out here. We 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 um we're big advocates for honesty and keeping it real on the show because we don't always have to agree. Mm. But one of the things that we have to do is always keep it real. Like we tailor specifically to black nerds. But nerds in general, mm-hmm. and we have very frank conversations about hygiene. Mm-hmm. 
which is <laughs> which is one of my favorite subjects that you that you like to touch Especially on. Especially after the con uh, that I just we went go. to this weekend. Was there con there crunch? There was a lot of people who could have used. I'm like, you. these people have the smell, the reek of that they have streaks in their drawers. Like, uh, I'm tired. Uh, not streaky we drawers. We too old for that. Like, that little boy smell, that little boy up the street. You know what I'm uh, talking about. Oh, not the dirty boy from up the street. Yeah, the dirty boy from up the street. Little stink butt. Stink butt. Stink, stink. Tink, tink. Tink, tink from up the street. Yeah, pretty much. Now, see, Jason runs the largest anime uh, comic book convention on the East Coast. No, uh, don't put it like that. No, 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 no. It, no. it, it, it was, it was, it's no, it was I no said what I said. <laughs> no, shut your I mouth. Said, you didn't I say know. it. I said no, what I it said. it is not. No, it, 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 it's the it's, largest. No, it's not. It's the largest. It is it's not. The largest. It is largest. nowhere near. You're black. Not. It's got to be big. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't Don't stop. <laughs> it got weird. Listen, listen. It was getting weird. All right, listen. Um, I I run Philly's largest and longest running anime convention. Oh, semantics. I said what I said. No, no. If anybody got an issue, DM Kurt, I, not Jason. I, yeah, All right? I got one. Are we good? Is yeah, that good? Yeah, because I'm not, not going to put myself All right, then can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I big you up? All right, just All right, don't big me up that big. All right, All right. Right. Like I said, if you got an issue, call Kurt, not Jason. <laughs> you get the chance to do a convention where obviously this is a reoccurring problem. Now, I'm I'm not new to the comic uh, you know comic book convention scene, but I've never smelled. I, I, maybe it's because I'm not up on people like that, and I haven't been like elbow to elbow with this thing. What do they call it? Con crunch, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, there's there's different. There's 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 the con funk. Con funk. <laughs> that sounds like an old George Clinton band. What what, what is con funk? Yo, Explain it's just, that. It's just. People don't wash because they're so obsessed with being at the con. They don't want to miss out on anything. So in and out of costume or just rocking a regular clothes, they just don't know where the shower is. <laughs> and they forget where the soap happens to be. Or <laughs> they Sometimes they lose their deodorant. How do you lose? They lose their deodorant and travel. Yeah, uh, you, can't, you can't lose what you didn't buy. <laughs> they lost the motivation to, <laughs> to purchase, buy, to purchase. <laughs> um, odor guards for their body. You know it's in like the dollar store, right? Like this, Listen. There are holistic <laughs> things that you can... I don't care if you go yo, in the backyard yo, and put that, some that, ash that's on That's still your... a lot for some cats. And I'm not even talking about people that just real, real can't afford it. Some people are just that cheap. I remember, Look, when I, when I started my conventions and they were... They used to be free. And I used to do them. They were really small, uh -huh. and I did them like. Are you about to tell me that people? Li listen, let me tell you. Okay. Like, I'm gonna just tell you how people think money wise. Like, what? This is this is getting terrible by the second. Yo, yo, yo. Like, when I made it two bucks, people got mad at me. <laughs> it was a monthly event that right. I was putting my money into like right. buying new you know Man, games and systems you, and all that you made stuff. It, two dollars. it was free for like and it was a monthly smaller event and then when I was like oh man I'm burning money maybe let me throw a couple dollars at it you know make people throw like two bucks at it so that I could at least not spend all my hard earned mm -hmm. money because everybody's like oh well he must be rich and this that the other thing yeah I, listen I'm, I'm not rich I was living a dope life because I had a dope job. And I was using my job money that I earned and still do to put into yeah, these you events. Yeah, a lot of hard work. And like, I don't, job. people are like, I don't know, people think that I'm just like, just Scrooge McDucking it somewhere. You're not jumping into a pool full of coins? <laughs> no, because I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a plot, plot Yeah, hole. Yeah, Scrooge Speaking McDuck should be holes, dead. We're we going to talk about us a little bit later. But I just want to throw that jab in there real quick about plot holes. Because Scrooge McDuck shouldn't have been able to swim in coins. But go ahead, continue, Jason. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I've been, as the con grew and became like the official like actual official j1 con um, i'm happy to say that a funk thing has not been a heavy issue oh, so people at, started washing up again i don't know because we used to low-key like spray like the 
like no! uh, not the people, but like the <laughs> surrounding area. No, 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 no. Because you we had went, undercover no. deodorant sprayers. Like, I know it. They had they had like hey, axe bombs. Because oh. the gaming room, I noticed the gaming room would get hot. <laughs> Uh, I was can, like, wow, it, it is a uh, gym. There's a gym locker. You can't hand. have like CPU heat, Negro heat. And, and it would be sometimes in the summer. Uh -huh. So then summer heat. And then some of the places, because I couldn't afford like, you know, air conditioning. Like giant venues and stuff like that. Some of these places that I could afford, these venues didn't have AC. So we would have to buy fans. And put fans, fans never in like warehouses and stuff. Dry like you up. But Steve, it, Steve, I already see your face now. But, y all, y all, but again, we were diligent about the stank because I have an obsession with that. Like, it grosses me out. As most human beings should, you know. Like, if you stink, that is a cause for concern. Yeah, but they must have been on it because I was just about to say that when I go to J1, I don't really deal with their problem that often. Like, yeah, it I might mean, be a person by themselves just, just being funky person, somewhere. But... but yeah, it's not like a multitude of people. I, I don't know what was going on in Zenkai Con because that's the first time that ever happened to me. <laughs> All right, hold on. We we gonna take it to the chat. My man Daniel Renners in the chat said, <laughs> and we gonna keep it one hundred and funky. He said niggas get nosebleeds after weeks in the crib just funky. Mm -hmm. that, I, now if you stink to the point where you causing nosebleeds, that is you got to take that up with the Lord. My question is, how do you not smell yourself? I mean, I can't I can't even walk out the door without throwing at least some Versace on or something. They Hold get on. used to it. Khalil Robinson from the chat says, I went to Uncanny on Saturday, and one of the workers smelled like a Smash Brothers turning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope. I'm mad that that's the pinnacle of funk. It's like, yeah, it's a uh, Smash Brothers turning. That, this is the, the, the highest level of funk. Now, Steve, y'all cosplay together, correct? Uh, we started. Uh, that was very modest. We started. We, it wasn't like a thing that we did normally, so now like it's a thing that we're trying to get into. It's Super really cool. Fun, That's dope as a couple. So, as a couple, and you walk, <laughs> you walking around. What's the last? I think Otakon was the last one that you were in. Nah, uh, what's it called? Katsukon. Katsukon. I don't want to come off like a stalker like that. Mm. That nigga know all our steps. <laughs> 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 but but Katsukon, did you have? Was this an issue? At that con. Okay, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> at first, it wasn't. Like, the first two days, it was good. But then again, we got there early, right? So, I think it was Saturday. We had been walking around for, like, a minute. <laughs> and somewhere along the way, everything was cool. We were just all having conversation about all the different anime and stuff that we like. And somebody walked by boofing. Woo! And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when it lingers. Because at first I was like, what is this con funk thing everybody's talking about? I've never, like. Yeah, I'm with you. I, like, this is a new thing to me. So now I'm walking around, and I think the worst part is that they all smell the exact same way. For some reason, every single person who comes to Con Musty smells like a Wendy's burger with extra onions. Oh, no. Next Not the, the four for four, the four for four burger. Go to, yeah. go to a con. I'm telling you right now, if you smell it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever gotten just a Wendy's burger. Uh, like, and then you let it sit for a bit. There's a marinade in the car. Like the one just, that you leave. Yeah, like you have, you got to drive yeah, give me that. She gave me that affirmative like, head. You got a nice 30 minute drive home for it to sit. And marinating itself, Jesus. and then when you open it, you're kind of unsure if you want to eat it. <laughs> you gotta make a business decision. But it's like you know you spent money on it, so uh, now you gotta eat it. Listen, folks, if y'all listening, let that four dollars go. <laughs> let that four dollars go. Yo, Your intestines will stick thank to you. The fries. Yeah, stick to the fries. Yeah, and even then, I know they dry, but at least at least they safe. Did they put Yo, that uh, many uh, onions on it? Yo, look, look I, tell I know you. exactly what he's talking about because they use them raw onions. They ain't, mm -hmm. it's not like fried onions. You know, fried onions is good. Like yeah. they'll last for a little while. Yeah, no, but you put them raw these. onions on it, you smell like a, a second. Never mind. Listen, hey, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm weird like that. Where where I don't even like the smell of food in my car. Mm. So like. If I pick up food, I'm fat. and I, I love the and I take it, car. let's see, that's 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 that's, that's, <laughs> that's you know, I I be cooking in my car. Mm. I fry chicken right in the back seat if I could. Yeah, <laughs> I get you. I get you a, a grill. <laughs> get you a George Foreman. Get a George Foreman grill. I'm gonna make burgers. I don't care I, if I'm hungry. I'm gonna visit your car. All right, there you go. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna stay <laughs> in it. Sanitary. It's, who cares? it's my burgers. And no, see, oh, oh, you gonna be eating them with your own? Listen. You don't have to enjoy my fingers. Curtis burgers in my car. Cause uh, this extra, 
This extra seasoning is in Curtis Burgers as Coppadotto of oh, course. Oh, see, that's what you tell them my business yeah. now. That's what's no, wrong. Don't, but what, what goes on in that back seat is my business. Anyway, go ahead. Continue, Jay. All right. <laughs> well, I, I, I have like a 15 pack of those trees. That go on the, in the on your uh, oh, I mirror. Thought, I thought you was about to say something else. No, I was no, no, like, can no, I get no, an no, 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 no. Stay Bye. away. Stay away from me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anytime, anytime I pick up any food and take it to the house, I gotta get it out the car immediately, and I put in a new freshie in there. Oh, the house, okay. And I'll drive. Smell and good. as I'm heading home, I don't care what the weather is. I got the windows down, down yeah. and I can the Let's air see, blowing see, all that. Funk so, out. so you can, you you air out the car. Yeah, but see, you can't do that in no cons. Like yeah, if somebody yeah. come by a booth, it, it, it it's it's kind of like nothing's worse than when somebody leaves, but they smell stays. Almost, mm-hmm. and almost like a you. doppelganger. Uh, you wanna do this? <laughs> you, uh, is that is that the segue you want to do? See what I did right do you, there. Do you want to segue? I dropped my. Is mint. that the segue that you want to do? You want to do this now? I dropped my icebreakers. Okay, well, I'm glad you got it. See, I washed up twice because I knew Steven was coming. I was like, he ain't gonna, he gonna, he, he, he ain't gonna clown it's me like, like Kurt over here stinking, exactly. knowing doggone well who he invited to the show. Listen, y'all. I'm glad you prepared. That's it. I, listen, I'm not gonna be the subject of a video. <laughs> <laughs> he be like, Kurt, do better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know the tagline, baby. I literally got a, a backup mini bottle of Versace in my bag at all times. That's part of my bag. I just drink bag. a lot of alcohol. Oh I figured that alcohol would kill all the germs, but that's something that I'm big on secret deodorant. That that and you know, rubbing. I was gonna say cocaine, but never mind. No, wow. I'm not gonna rub. Wow, wait, wait it, it, dry, it soaks up Hold all. The, it you soaks had an up. issue with me saying trees, and you went to <laughs> wait, 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 you got a quantum. Because it's not mine. I'm holding it for That's somebody. That's where he draws Sassy, the line. Did you hear what he just said? What is rubbing cocaine? I heard a snorting cocaine. We're not going to ignore cooking my line no. joke that I just made. Yes, we, and we appreciate that. It was adorable, <laughs> darling. What is this rubbing cocaine that you speak of? So we got this Marvel tournament that's <laughs> called, that I, I'm putting, that I have together here. Before we get to that, we just had a very spirited debate, would you say? Was it spirited? A little bit. It, it, was, it was a little bit. So much so that I had to call allies that's what you to, call to the mic. <laughs> We're about to talk about us. If but, you're in the chat and you've seen us, I need y'all to drop from one to five what you would have rated the movie. From one to five... What is your rating? Five being the, the, the best. Five being like Hitchcock, uh, uh, M. Night Shyamalan in his heyday, Stephen King, out of this world good. Horror film. Because that's what they classified it as. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm saying, mm-hmm. well, notice I'm already setting up my argument. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't, yeah. give me that, don't give me that face, Stephen. Look, I, look, dog on it. And one being <laughs> like absolute worst garbage. Don't even wait for it on Netflix. Download it on Fire Stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need that one, one through five on the chat right now as we delve into Jordan Peele's sophomore follow-up to Get Out, which was a masterpiece. We all agree. Do we all agree? Masterpiece? Yeah, yeah. Masterpiece? A- absolutely. I'm going to just take it around. The, I mean, we're going to take it around the room. And we can start with you, Jack. How did you feel about us? And no spoilers. Let's let's do that. No, 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 no. It's been a week. No, f that. It's been a week. It's been a week. We've given them a week. Seven. If you ain't seen us and you're black, get off the get off oh. the chat. But it's somebody who said they haven't seen it. <laughs> who said it? Jeff said. It. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I just well, saw. Well, <laughs> well, well, Jeff, you might want to mute your uh, uh, Facebook. I, I couldn't even say TV because we ain't that big yet. But mute, mute your Facebook, <laughs> and, and, or, or close your ears, or open your eyeballs. One or the other. Jay, okay, do the best you can not to give away all of it. I got, I got to give spoilers to get into why it sucked. I'm sorry. I'm already telling why I feel. Yeah, sucks. I'm sorry. Wow. Y'all going to have to probably step out of here for a minute if you didn't see it because it's about to get really people. real in here. Yeah. <laughs> Hassan said J1 moved in November in an effort to cut down on con funk. <laughs> <laughs> I had to laugh. I laughed in the middle of the I was talking. Yeah, and Khalil it. is with me. The what is rubbing co- Yo, what is rubbing cocaine? Don't we coming you, back to that. Don't you worry about, about my rubbing life. Rubbing cocaine. <laughs> we, go, we, we coming back to the rubbing cocaine. No, we're not. All right. Tef said she gave it a four. Four. She said four-ish. So I'm, I'm going to assume that's like a 4.5, which is 
ignorantly high. Tef, I, every week I say I'm going to block okay, you. This is so definitely no, going to be the week. Tef, give Kurt's opinion is not valid. That will not be happening to you as long as I'm here. I, if, as soon as I figure out the block button, because, you know, I'm old and my and Facebook is... He'll never find you. No, I'm, so that means you'll be here I still forever. got a MySpace account. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got a four. We got Hassan saying three. My man, Dam says it was a four, but the ending was a cold 0 0.5. So that, that I'm, I'm gonna give you a 2.5 on that because if it's a 0 0.5, Jay, I, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with like a mm, mm. it's either 3.75 or a four because the symbolism throughout the entire movie I enjoyed. I'm gonna step it away, away from the mic because I'm gonna be hussing and hossing and <clears throat> the whole time. Give you an un, unadulterated opinion. Ah. <sighs> All right, all right. I just, I, I really, I enjoyed the film. I know a lot of the one thing that comes with doing a great job your first time out, you have a heavy wow factor, and usually how you start is your bottom in anything, in business, and in, in anything of, and especially entertainment. Um, so with Get Out being your first, people are like, oh, so you, everything you do from now on. Mm -hmm. Got to be better, and you know that as a business. I, I, yeah. you, you, like, I can't even. I can't even hate. You're, I, I like where you're going with perfect. It, but perfect, I, got for I give that. you. Go I give you all the examples of like decent films that people just crap on it because it was a follow up. It was a follow up. Okay, I, I respect that. But tell me why Us was good. Again, I like the symbolism of it. Uh, the cinematography was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I thought the soundtrack was great. Uh, the, the the acting was amazing like the acting was on point like people playing their different roles and all that stuff especially kids mm -hmm. especially you you know how it is you know from like being around like cosplayers and stuff like that when like you're shooting something or actors anyone that does stuff that necessarily doesn't don't do it as often, you know what I mean? They're new to it or whatever. Right. It's harder to get them to portray what your vision is mm -hmm. and to get these kids to be able to focus and do what they, what they, what you expect them to do and, and portray these characters. Like there's, I think they did a better job acting as their doppelgangers mm -hmm. better than they did as, you know, their, their actual, the, their actual uh, yeah. The, real uh, real quick, Daniel, Daniel on the chat said, uh, Kurt's getting triggered. Daniel, <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and Felice on the chat said, haven't seen us yet, and she's going to wait till it's on stream. Wow. Um, Khalil says, decent films that gets crapped on, Ghost in the Shell, indecent films that no one's heard of, where's my rubbing cocaine at? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get t-shirts made. Yo, rubbing rub cocaine. Hashtag rubbing cocaine. <laughs> hashtag rubbing cocaine. Steven. Give me your unadulterated opinion on us. I mean, he kind of covered everything that was important. Uh, I but need like, you. I need you to elaborate. If I had to, if I had to give it a rating from like right. one to five, I would give it a solid four. A solid four. A solid four. Please defend that four a little bit, even if you were, even if you repeat the same things. I just want to get your mind on. So that. just like video games and just like anime, I like a series where I have to go back and peep things that I missed. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than being like, oh man, look at this new theory when it comes to this movie. And then on top of that, you know, when a when a producer, when a movie maker, whoever it is, making the content that you're watching or ingesting, make something, it's up to interpretation regardless of what the actual theme of the movie is. So the fact that so many things can be brought out through this movie, like it did a very good job representing all of the issues that it was trying to portray. But at the same time, if you're walking in there on a on a low intellectual level, <laughs> the only that? twist you're going to get is the end twist when they tell you what happened. Okay. But that's it. I respect. I, re I That was actually a good setup. And if I could, after Your the turn show, is over, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> after after the show, because I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, we're trying to do this spoiler free. There's a ish. whole list of stuff that they did symbolism-wise from literally from the beginning of the movie there is clues about the story and i love stuff like that in my books that like uh in angel savior 
you read it just straight through. You're like, all right, cool. Now that you know the end, go back and read it again. And you'll see something. And you'll see it's that like there's clues that I was I dropped in from Jump. Right. I love oh. stuff like that. Like, case in point, just real quick. Seven. Are you, are you familiar with Seven? Yeah. When he actually reveals what's in the box, if you go back and watch it, you can actually hear when his wife was being attacked when he was on the phone with her. Mm. You're not going to pick that up the first time. But it's not until you see the end and you know what happens that you go back you're like, <gasps> they had clues the whole time. Same with Fight Club. Mm. I love movies like that. I have something to say, but I'm going to allow the lady, Jay, please, please, give me your viewpoints on us. Let these men shut up. And let's hear from the ladies. Okay, so... I definitely give it the same rating, about a four. I really did like the movie, although I did agree with you. Right. It's I okay. Still, I'm, 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 I'm not mad at you. I still enjoyed like the symbolism, the cinematography, the acting. Like everything they said is very spot on. I appreciated the movie for what it was. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, oh. I listen, just, you're not leveling up. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> let her. Let her finish. Also, um, I feel like when people do make you know different movies or different like things when it comes to like who they are as like an artist mm -hmm. um that they shouldn't like their stuff shouldn't be compared because people change up all the time you know facts if he decided to make a romantic comedy and got out of the you know suspenseful stuff for a while it doesn't mean it's trash just because it's not get out you know everything should be judged on its own merit yes i like that so yeah. all right you gonna slow clap her? That's what you need. That's what you need. You need boy, you playing to the crowd. Let me let me see if anybody say anything. Go ahead, say. All right, uh, Hassan said I enjoyed the fact that he referenced Chud. I don't. Which I asked to elaborate because I'm not really even sure what that is. Look, even the... unless somebody I, here I, knows I, what yeah, it is, we, you can explain. I, it. It's it's a movie. Uh huh. It's there's a. All right, you're gonna see this first jump out. There's a when you're first watching. There's a commercial that's talking pretty much about like the whole like scenario and everything mm -hmm. like that and then they hint at I see I can't I want to go to that part yet but then on the side of the TV are a bunch of VHS tapes and one of them is Goonies one of them is Chug oh, yeah, and the other I'm one is <sighs> I can't remember what it was. Jay's on it. Um, it was one was a, it was another one. It was a horror movie. But it's all talking about. If you know what the movie is, see that's the thing. Those things can spoil the movie. movie. All right, we okay, tried. The thing is that they were just movies us, that were Save related us. to the plot of us that were on the side of the TV. That if you had seen those movies, you probably would catch on to what the. With you the know, goal, what's going on? Yes. What's the going on? Sassy. Well, for me, um, so, for, I, I'm not home, gonna baby. lie. I'm not gonna be one of those people because I feel like there were a lot of those people who were online who were just like, "Oh yeah, it was the greatest movie," and they didn't get like what the hell was going on. Like I didn't, but they just didn't want to own up to it because people like they had that like level of, "Oh, I'm." the smartest now because I get that and I I didn't get it I'm gonna be honest and first of all that I'm gonna say this if you're gonna go to the movies to go see this movie don't go to your neighborhood movie theater don't go to the hood theater where everybody gonna be talking and in their own little thing because exactly. that's what distracted me and had me at like a I can't even focus now because all these people are in this theater talking like they're at home and I can't think straight so there was too many distractions you want to go to the suburban movie theater where it'll be quiet and you can think in peace where the white folk at <laughs> just, just go ahead on and say that go but, to the get out theater and you'll be safe because you'll be able to think better <laughs> there unfortunately i hate to say that but yeah that made my opinion a little biased because i couldn't really get what was going on i tried to pay attention to little clues here and there and i sat there with the premise of this is gonna have some kind of motive behind it because i know he wouldn't just do all of this for no reason 
but I just didn't get it. So I'm not gonna. Say, I would never go up and talk bad about the movie and say that the movie was trash because I Jordan Pill. I'm gonna support him regardless. If anything was accomplished, I supported him with my funds so he could go on and do something great, even greater in the future. But mm -hmm. it wasn't for me. It wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't. One through five. What you think? From don't be afraid. From I what I saw, it was about a um, I want to say maybe a two or a three. Ooh. Ooh. For me. Ooh. <laughs> you are you you have your opinion, and it is. And not it to is, say it's it is, I'm not saying opinion. it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's right. But, I told but you it you is uniquely it. yours. It is uniquely <laughs> yours. Don't worry, sassy, because it's my turn. <laughs> and like Ash Ketchum, entering a battle. Let me turn my hat backwards, cause Kurt. nigga chew, I choose you. Oh God! He about to, he, he, the hate about to come out in his mouth. Listen, oh, boy, he gonna start sweating and spitting. You already know I'm already fired up. Let me tell y'all something, Jordan Peele, you done messed up, a a Ron. <laughs> you done messed up, a a Ron. I love you. I believed in you. I had full faith that you were gonna deliver me one of the greatest sophomore follow-ups to one of the mm. greatest cinematic movies that I have ever seen that not only was a true eye-opening movie for the culture, especially now in the era the way this country is. It was, it was a way to, to, to show other people what black people knew all along. White folks crazy. And <laughs> I thought, that maybe, just maybe, us would have, like you said, the symbolism. Now, I love what Steven said. He said, hey, look, if you're not thinking on a higher level and you're going in there just for a horror movie, you're not going to like it. You're absolutely right. I agree with you 100%. If you're looking for jump scares, if you're looking for that, that Freddy Krueger, Jason-type vibe, this ain't your it's, movie, it's dog. That. This is a long episode of Twilight Zone. Hold on. Don't you jump into this. Because you, you it, actually, that was a really good point. It is a long episode of Twilight Zone. Because guess what he working on? Twilight Zone. Ah! I, and guess what? I still support you, Jordan, because I think you're going to hit a home run with Twilight Zone. But let me just say this. They mismarketed your movie. They marketed it as a horror flick. And it's not. I consider that one of those suspenseful thrillers. It's a suspenseful thriller. Yeah. I would not put it in the Steven, I, I'm going to allow you to read the, Come on. Come on, Steven. I, I don't mind if you jump. No, you think it's horror? I'm going to let you finish. All right. All right. I don't think it's a horror movie. It has horrific scenes, but it's not a horror movie. At the end of the day, the things that these black folk did was not of the black nature. It, it wasn't. I'm a, and I'm all I'm going to say <laughs> is, I'm not going to give up too many spoilers. Winston Duke ruined M'Baku for me because he was he the worst actor times. and the biggest idiot through this whole movie. And I get it. They wrote him to be that way. But he did things that black people just don't do, like sit around mm -hmm. and wait for the people to come kill him. Watch his hey, hey, come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Who, who, Watch what black man? What black man? Hold on, hold on. Don't go on it, Jason. I'm not done. <laughs> White people dead all around him. He wants to sit around and hold it out. That's not what we do. Harriet Tubman told us to run. We runs north. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. <laughs> Whenever White folks gets to killing, we goes north. Oh, I'm just saying. He did uncharacteristic black thing. Jordan Peele knows better. That's why Get Out was so great. We did what black folk would do. We get up out of there. I'm sorry, did I spit on you? That ain't nothing but some pimp juice. Anywho, <laughs> I, I, I'm, everything in us, everything in us really killed the flavor of Get Out. And by the time the twist came in the end, and there is a twist, and I'm not going to ruin it, I was underwhelmed. I was so underwhelmed that I was I watched five or six people in the theater get up and leave right after. Dang. That's how shocked I was at the disappointment. And it's really split down the middle. You have those that are like, I love the metaphor, the genius, and I see it for what it is. And then they have me's who 
are rating it a 1.5. And that's that's my word. It's a 1.5. Wait for Netflix. Honestly, Netflix, I wouldn't even pick it up. Ooh, I think you. Wrong. I would this, say that. Ne- give ne- me okay. Okay. Ne- Netflix. Right, Hold on, no. Ne- Netflix. And give me, to give out me season to two out. of Love, Death, Robots before you get. Dang. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Love, Death, Robots is that word. Oh my gosh. We, we, Yo, I been look. I, did you binge it? I binged it. Have y'all binged it yet? It's so good. Oh. Please, if you do I anything. I binged that in Umbrella Academy in the same uh, day. Oh, did you, did you see Umbrella Academy? Nice that ask, it wasn't, did you finish it? Yeah. That work, right? Better than the X-Men? Yes. 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 I, I smack you. <laughs> yeah, dead. I will kill you. <laughs> Umbrella Academy, Love Death Robots, H&IC official, Steven approved, Jay approved, Netflix and chill things that you need to watch, like tomorrow. And actually, Netflix. And actually, don't, Netflix. Yeah, don't Netflix. chill. Don't, yeah. right? Don't chill. Netflix. No, yeah, yeah. Support Still. it. Yeah, because because we need them to make more of that and less of us. Mm. Ah, you see, I slid I that, that in. Did. Don't I give see. me that. <laughs> They're just giving me these faces like, you mother. <laughs> All right, you, you bit your tongue. Now give me your retort. Okay, so... My issue nowadays, because a lot of people like to sit here and call things not horror films when uh, I honestly think they should be called horror films. Mm. The reality of the situation for us, it's supposed to be a modern horror film. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, there are things that you're supposed to pick up on that are supposed to scare you. Like like crazy white folks. I'm trying so hard not to like throw out uh, spoilers and everything, but it's just like... It's supposed to be scary when you think about it. There are things that are supposed to scare you because it's things that you subconsciously think to yourself. It's all of the little fears that pick at you when you're at home by yourself. Gotcha. And it's dark. And ain't nobody around you. And you thought that you heard something. And you're not really sure. But you're black, so you're not going to go look. <laughs> but you're going to go stay in the room. Thank you! <laughs> he know the rules! But... Bottom line is, it picks on all the all the little things that you're scared of, and then it personifies them in you. Got you. So it, it's one of those things. It's like those movies where after you watch it, remember when you were a kid, you would watch a horror flick, but then you would go home, and then every little creak, every little knock on the wall, now you're starting to look around. You know it was just a movie, mm. but it was just a little too real. Now, I will agree with you on that one. You ever seen somebody in the streets and you're like, they look familiar? Or you ever have, you know what I mean? Yeah, some people, everybody, I think that the old adage is everybody has a doppelganger somewhere in the world. That I just talked about that the other day with you, actually. Well, no, to, to elaborate that. What's what what was the conversation about? Huh? We were we were talking about how in, in real life, everybody technically has a doppelganger somewhere that looks just like them. Mm-hmm. But it's like... Since y'all don't know about each other, there's no drive to steal somebody else's life. They have their life and you have yours. But then, wasn't movie. Black Swan? So, there was a, mm. Isn't there a series called Black Swan or something like there that? I got one. Right, you never that. seen her that I post up on Facebook. She's in a maid cafe and um that comes to like anime. Next Wait, you or mean you seen your Washington. doppelganger? Yeah, and I Has tried she come to, to your house with scissors. I tried oh. to message her actually because I thought it was crazy because I sent it to my mom and my mom thought that was me and was like, "What are you doing? Like, where are you?" And it was me, but. The, the problem was was that I couldn't get to her because I had to go through the page. You found your tether? Yeah, and they wouldn't let me talk to her. They're like, oh, her name is Princess such and such. They stayed in character with the whole maid cafe thing. And they're just like, if she wishes to speak to you, she'll message you. And I'm like, what the? So either way, she never messaged me back. So that just ended it. So you like the but... poor doppelganger. Oh, apparently, <laughs> I'm not royalty enough to yeah, talk to like, her. They, but they, like, you're the, but... to them. But... <laughs> so that means you got to get a pair of scissors. And she's in the cosplaying too. I thought that was really creepy so that get we a, both get a pair, of, <laughs> Get a pair of scissors, run up on her, <sighs> and I'll help you. I don't want to do that, though. No. I like my life. I got a shovel. I'm I'm the broke version of all my doppelgangers. Oh, you, little Wayne, L- little uh, little <laughs> Wayne, Ace Hood, Whoopi Goldberg. I hate you. <laughs> R- Rolf the dog, the Muppets. Yeah, bro, they say <laughs> I. Oh my God, no! Not I Rolf. Yo, hey, oh, yo, no, I you never Rolf. seen you never seen my no, picture? Look at the camera. If you, <laughs> if you think Jason looks like Rolf, I need y'all to talk about yo, it in the chat. Yo, God, that no. used to be a profile picture I had. 
where it was a picture of Rolf, because I have the Rolf puppet. And I had a picture, oh, no. it was a picture of Rolf and a picture of me. I had a brown shirt on and I, it said, I wrote separated at birth. Oh, oh God. Well, guess what? They say I look like uh, Magic Johnson's son. Just the fat version, which I'm not, I, well, like they try to say it as an insult, but he's very fashionably chic. So I, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I mean, chic. he is very fashionable. I couldn't wear those heels, but I'm just saying whatever floats his boat. But they say I look like him. I, I look like Omar Gooding, Cuba Gooding's brother. Or if you remember him from Baby Boy, the best friend. Mm, now, uh, don't do it. Don't you do it, Rolf. <laughs> uh, I was I was literally at a spot last week, and people kept like waving to me and like freaking out, and I was like, "All right, cool." And then they're like, "Are you Ace Hood?" <laughs> I was like, no. "Yes." <laughs> no, because I've done this before. I've been in this situation in Miami Airport where I had my hair done up a certain way and I had got these big aviators on and I had this like jacket, something like this. And I went into the, the you know, magazine shop. Everybody started crowding around the front of the magazine shop. I'm looking at everybody, everybody looking at me. I, I look behind <laughs> it got me. awkward. <laughs> yeah, it was, oh, it was really awkward. And I look up above me, is Little Wayne on the cover of Complex Magazine in the same hairstyle as gotcha. mine? We have we're about the same height. We have the same hair length. Right. So mm -hmm. then, I'm looking at it, and at the time he didn't have all the crazy tattoos. So then, I just looked at the magazine, tapped on the magazine, was like, "Y'all should get that right here." And I just <laughs> rolled out, right? So then people ran wobbly, into the wobbly. place <laughs> and started buying the magazines, and were like trying to cut me off all over the Miami airport. So I started signing autographs in Miami airport. Oh my Little God. Wayne, Jay is gonna come to your house with a pair of scissors, oh. and he's gonna untether. <laughs> yes. See, ha ha have y'all? Do you have you had a celebrity look like? Anybody ever compare you? Someone said I look like Questlove. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. That's Philly native. Nah, but, uh, what's it called? I've been called Questlove. I used to not have hair, and I, they used to call me Corey in the house. Wow. <laughs> it was real bad. I, I have to admit, I went. I, I sound like such a stalker when I say this. I went through your Facebook. And oh I, was, my God. I have to research our guests. I'm not being weird. Okay. I'm just saying. I had. To, I wanted to make sure I watched every one of his videos. Okay. I saw one of them where he had like shaved. I was like, mm -mm, no, no, that ain't it, cheap. <laughs> Put that facial hair back on. I like. I like my Steven with a fro and some scraggly. Unconnected beard. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yours. I, when I did you become yours? Well, because that's, uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of him. So mm. they, I, all fans have ownership. I'm right? going to make fun of you for this I know. For, the, for the rest of my life. Shut you up. It doesn't matter. One time you we made it happen. Real girly. Really? That's what you're going to do to me? That's it. Whoever. You, what's, what's the name of your doppelganger? I don't know. What's it? She, what's, she won't talk to me. If you out there, please call into the head nurse in charge. We're going to get rid of Sassy, and you can come and replace her. And Little Wayne, you, you you can, I don't know if you would do the show, but we can get rid of Jason, too. He's he, not yeah. doing the show for yeah. you. Yo, no, because when, when I got married, I, uh, uh, we, we ran out the whole first floor, of, like the whole first floor area of the Radnor Hotel. So I could have it, you know, us. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, <laughs> Boo! And, and, no, did you just try to run? No, 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 Boo. no! Shut your mouth! Shut your lying mouth! Shut mm -hmm. your lying mouth! Um, <laughs> and and people thought uh, my wife was J Lo because they couldn't see we had because we wanted to keep it. You know, obviously, secret I had a follow up people, joke so we for had why like, they thought your wife was uh, J Lo. Yeah, yes, but I, yes, I don't want to get punched yes, in the mouth. She, she, needless, needless to say, if they saw her from the back, I totally understand why. Anyway. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no lie. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> so like, I'm people were people. Hand, good brother. You did good. You done good, son. Oh. You done good. <laughs> Thank you. So when we were getting married, there was like people either working there or whatever. They thought um, that J Lo and was married Wayne, Wayne on the, know, like right. on a secret thing because my brother was standing out front because the baby was crying. And mm -hmm. he was cracking up because he was hearing all this conversation. All, all the chatter. They thought we were using fake names. Oh, God. Oh. Not, Lord. See, and then, and then paparazzi show up, and then you got to explain that. I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this ain't me, man. <laughs> I just start crying. <laughs> did everybody get to see the in-game trailer? Uh, I did. 
Yes. Jay, did you get to see it? I never watched it, but it's we'll, a trailer, so we'll forgive you. <laughs> we'll forgive you. Now, 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 this is a this is a, a, a serious conversation. After seeing the trailer, was it necessary? That's the question. Was it really necessary? Does Marvel, Disney, even have to promote this movie anymore? Nah, nope. I think if they stop promotion right now, it would it would still oversell. Yeah, I I don't it's, know why y'all dropping trailers. Like the fact that they changed it from Infinity War Part Two to End Game, like, that was enough for me. Like, they, they could have dropped those posters with the, the black right. and, white and the color posters. That could have been it, and I would have been like, "We going to see this movie." Like that's mm -hmm. it. See, see, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, because over the I don't know over the weekend they dropped the black and whites and the basically you know uh, Aven the yeah Avenge the Fallen, and they did the black and white stills and the color stills for who who was basically dusted and who wasn't. Did you peep that they uh, dusted shirt? Sorry, yo, that you already had it. Listen, if y'all don't know, it's now. Speculated confirmation that Shuri has been dusted. Remember, they never showed it at the end of what? What, what you got that one dingy finger in the air for a reason? I think they confirmed with a tweet that she was dusted. I, 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 yeah, she's Ooh. done. Is it a hundred percent? She's, she's done, dead? or she's is she injured? Oh, mm. come on, man, she's injured in the soul stone. Dusted. I, yeah, no, I don't think she's there. I think that's it. I think that was their way of letting us uh, have a little bit of public outrage. Last little black outcry. All we got is Okoye right now. Yo, Okoye, think about that. In, in Baku. In a, in a, uh, we oh have Mbaku. Uh, Where are the rhinos? Rody, there we right, go. Yeah. We got Rody. We got, uh, I, yo, hush your mouth. Oh, come on, man. I'm not a big Rody fan. But you got War Machine? How are you not a fan? I don't know. No. I'm a fan of War Machine. But you're not a fan of Rhodey. Not at all, hey, bro. I cannot stand. I respect it. All right. That thing, <laughs> War Machine put in work. That that suit of armor is one. I, ooh, we, so, I'm about to nerd out on that one. Because War Machine's, wait a minute, real quick. War Machine's still in the uh, Elite Eight, right? I think Of the so. battle? No, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, in uh, our, uh, yeah, our yes. Oh, yeah, because, Steve, we're we going to have you weigh in on our March Madness. We we got, Rhodey's still in there, right? Yes. Oh, that's going to make for fun, a fun conversation. Because we're, we're about to come up on the top of the hour, and we haven't yet to even drop our phone number. Yo, 877-226-0998. We were having a blast. And never even no, open up Javier the phone. No, Javier got us already. That's, That's what. He always have us already. You you so a one, bro. I love you. <laughs> we appreciate you. That's our producer, Hav, uh, one of our producers, and, and we got my man. I think if Sean's on, Sean's on there. They'll be posting throughout to make sure that everybody knows what the phone lines are open. And remember to keep it locked here at PCRadioLive.com. Real talk, real hit, real music. But we're about to talk about. This end game, and I honestly, well, you know what? Before we get in the end game, before we even get in the end game, for those that are tuning in, because we have a special guest, we want to kind of get to know Steven the person Beard. a little bit better. How y'all living? <laughs> that crown, it's illustrious. I mean, that afro is a statement. And taken from a bald brother, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get that kind of hype. It's taking on a life of itself. I love it in the movies. I, I love the fact that you, you, you emphasize not only bodily care, but hair care and all of that other good stuff. What's up with the fro, man? Is it just your thing? Yeah. Honestly, it's been my thing for a minute. It's like... If I didn't have it, I'm pretty sure people wouldn't know who I am. <laughs> I was gonna, it's funny, because um, we met at summer camp. But when I first started going to summer camp, I didn't have hair. It wasn't until I had hair that I ended up talking to her. Because exactly. I'm pretty sure with no hair, I had no You had no chance. No, 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 oh. It wasn't there. I looked like an egg. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> how long have y'all been dating? It was what it was. Um, but I think my sophomore year of high school... I was, I was getting fed up because my mom used to always want me to cut my hair because she was always just like, you look like you ain't got no hole. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, they don't they, they got to let the crown grow. And I was just like, if I take care of it, can I grow out my hair? Like, But before that conversation even happened, I was sitting in history class, and one day I kind of just stood up, and I was just like, I'm going to grow my hair out today. And someone in the back of the class was like, that's great, but like, we taking a test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sit down. Like, I had a whole revelation, and... 
it was just at the wrong time. But I, I sure did start growing my hair out though. It is, I, that but, sounds like something straight out of a sitcom that kid stands up in class is just like, I'm gonna do this thing and it's like, okay, but nobody cares. I thought I was lit like that and I really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? My mom was still dressing me that year. So no, nah, I, I didn't know what I was talking about until that, it actually started That's what you kind of learn. You're like, oh, I thought I had that clout. Okay, well, <laughs> when it grows, we'll revisit this. How long have you guys been dating? Um, What is it, three years now? You're asking me? Oh, see. I sure am. Yeah, we've been dating t since 2016. See how she ran <laughs> down numbers? He oh. was like, three years, right? But you're doing it smart. You check with honey first. And she was like, yeah, nigga. Usually I'm him. <laughs> Could you imagine if I would have said two years Bruh. and been wrong? But see, I love that you're, you have that emotional intelligence to know that if, I don't, if I'm not sure to answer, ask the wife. Take it from married men and ex-married men. <laughs> If you want, if you don't want to become an ex-married man, unless you date a sassy, because sassy doesn't remember either. <laughs> sassy, you're a different breed. You're I a totally different type of human know. being. I'm we like, we're not even quite sure what it you are. It was something in this month, but sassy be the same one to be like, "What are we doing for our anniversary?" I don't know. One Punch Man sounds good. <laughs> Look. That, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Hold on, don't don't get it twisted. The missus got a one punch man poster in the crib. Oh, yeah, I know, but that's, that's not her. She got but a one punch man hoodie too. But like, this is not a rare breed. You gotta find a rare breed that you can have fun with. And that's why I, I, I love that because I know you're anime fans. And and, and and everybody has their own distinction. You know, you have comic book fans. Like what, what is your thing? Are you just anime fans or Um, we're we're very different. I want to say because I feel like she's more into like t live TV shows and like movies and Marvel stuff. Gotcha. I'm more into anime than all of that other stuff, but I do know about it. Oh, super cool! So like we kind of bounce off of each other with it. Like she got me into watching The Flash, and the CW we, series. We're waiting Ugh. on the, see, what season four, season. Don't five be right like now. that. Listen, look, look, look. I was riding with The Flash for like two or three seasons. I was with the Arrowverse. Then it got really, really, really heavy. Like. Teeny bopper weirdo. I respect what you're getting to, but I'm going to still watch it. <sighs> I lost interest because <laughs> then Netflix started dropping good Marvel series. And I, Fair. listen, I don't have a lot of time in my life. Do you know how hard it is to keep up with the Arrowverse? It's a lot because then when they, yeah. when they, they came out with Legends, yeah. Arrow, Flash, and it was Super, Super, Super Girl. Girl. I, I was like, I gotta watch all of this. Other, yeah. it, it was well, hard. And the same Go ahead. episodes are crossover, so you gotta yeah, make sure you watch each I one. That's what I appreciate, honestly. Gotcha. That's what keeps me like tuned into all of the shows, knowing that oh, they have a four-way episode. Like there was, what? There was one time, like when we were watching TV, and we realized that like there was a cutoff, and it was like. Oh, go to the Flash for the next episode. <laughs> go to Arrow for part three. Go there for part four, and like it keeps you like engaged. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. You're you're completely up to date in the CW Arrowverse, but mm -hmm. no, oh see. I didn't watch the last episode yet. I mean, the last season yet, just because I've been like working. Exactly, because you have a life. <laughs> now let me ask you: Are you completely up to date on the Marvel Netflix series? Like, yeah, we are. Like Jessica Jones and stuff. I'm talking. Steven, don't cheat me. I'm talking about uh, Cloak and Dagger. I'm uh, talking about everything. I think the only two things we haven't seen are the last season of Punisher and Cloak and Dagger. But outside of that, we're caught up with everything Wow, y'all y'all are good. Y'all better than me. Because I'm kind of like half and half on both. And I still got to see uh, Black Lightning. Oh, Black Lightning. <laughs> I like she lit up on that one. You're like, Black Lightning, niggas. Black Lightning season two just hit Netflix. Make sure to go check it out. I am a big Black Lightning fan. Did you hear they're canceling that soon? Oh. Apparently they're canceling it whoa, and taking it off whoa, of Netflix. So I don't know if they're taking it off of TV though. Steven, why would you bring that negative energy to our show? Bro. I want to let you know. Bro, are I'm gonna you tell serious? You on screen, I have you crying. Yo, uh -huh. I, I, I'm tearing up on but screen. But you can keep your composure here. You can't I, keep your. You, they getting cool. rid of Black Lightning? I'm bad that we hold on. Who's, I, I've I, seen an article, but producers. Hey, Javier, uh, y'all ain't <laughs> update me on this. What's going on? I mean, we gonna have a have a, a meeting after this. Black oh. Lightning is going away? I heard they're canceling it either after this season or season three. It must be because of the ratings. It might be because of the ratings. Because you know nobody watches TV no more. Everybody's on Super Netflix facts. and Hulu and everything. Super facts. And, and I, when it doesn't go successful on TV, it's supposed to come from TV 
to Netflix. So if it didn't do well on TV, because everybody already got Netflix, and they just waited for it to come out the next year, nobody was watching nothing. So That's crazy. Plus, there's so much on Netflix. Yeah. Because Netflix is going out of their way to make sure they have their own shows, Bruh. and their shows are banging. Our- Troll Hunters is that work. I don't know why, but I love that show so much. No, I watched Jay, all of it. Jay, what was you about to say? No, I was going to say the opposite. No, 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 no. They're, you don't like it? They're good on shows. They're not good on movies, though. Yeah, because did them... you see Frontline? Front, front, front three, triple front, tri- pre- triple front three. It was an okay movie. Put it like this. They put a lot into getting some pretty good BC list actors. Mm. And the plot could have been good, but it didn't execute well. Mm. But let me tell you something. And I keep, hate to keep going back. Love, Death, Robots is a master piece of television. Like, it's 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 where the future of movies and TV could go. I look at it as the new generation of the heavy metal series. Agreed. Or Liquid Television from MTV. I don't. With a little with a little twist of Liquid Television, because some of the art styles. Are very reminiscent, but now mind um, you, we we OGs into this. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna ask the ladies' age because I don't want to get punched in the eye. But Steve, how old are you? Twenty four. See, twenty four. Like, do you remember Liquid Television and a little bit, but not enough to Did have you... an opinion on it. No, and no worries because it. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Jay. Me oh, and Jay. Y'all, y'all saw me before. I uh, I was in Twilight. Jay, how, I, I was the one black vampire. But, but, <laughs> The only black the person. only black person in town. You had to. He, 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 there was a whole town. He went to go bite a white person. They was like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, stay to the niggers. It was like, we bite chocolate. Chocolate can't bite us. And then it was like, you had right. white only vampires. Let me ask you a question. Remember Liquid Television and the Heavy Mail series? If you back in the day, MTV used to run 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 these uh, short fifteen minute. Movies. Liquid Television had Eon Flux. That's where Beavis and Butthead came from. Uh, the Max. Ooh, God, I felt old. Yeah, Yo, I, I I felt old just saying it. There was also Stick Figure Theater. Stick, exactly. And for those for our OGs that are going to be listening on the podcast, or if you're listening live, if we missed anything from Liquid Television, drop it in the chat, and we'll make mention of it. But Liquid Television was innovative in a way that nobody has seen those forms of animation, mm. especially Eon Flux. Yeah. Eon Flux was like, wh- who animated this? Then remember when Final Fantasy, the CGI movie, came out? Mm. That, that, he, what is it? Uh, oh, man. Uh, what is, what the, is the name of the movie? Tri- Wait, not the Spirits Within. Within. Yeah, yeah. Spirits oh, Within. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I couldn't bang with that. I didn't As say the movie was thing. good, but I said the I CGI. Like, the CGI was Okay, dope. that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I didn't say the movie was good. I said the CGI was something that we had never seen on that level before. Right. Mm. And now, even with... Uh, 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 Akita, Attila, uh, come on. Alita? Alita. You know, Negro, what I meant. Akita. <laughs> Alita, yes. Alita. The CGI and Alita. Took it to the... Don't laugh at me. Listen, I, I don't profess to be a heavy anime fan. If you want to know about Marvel DC, I'm your guy. If you want to know about anime, that's where Jay comes in. But that's... This, the, the art in Alita blew my mind. This rivals that. This show, the art and the CGI that they put in there, there are times where we were watching it and we were like, those aren't human beings? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a couple There's a couple stories in there Bro, where it looked like real people. You, like, I was completely blown away. There's one where, I think it's called Living in the Shadow. Yeah, look, she already on the good list. Let me tell like, you something. Like, the CG, there was a couple times where they showed people, like, sweating or, like, yeah, the yeah, sex yeah. scene. I think that was going like that. And I'm watching the sex scene. Hey. I'm like, this is... They got the all. CG? They got all the juices right. Yo, like <laughs> they animated. Like everything. nobody is like no, Don't but they like, did it in a way where like gravity is actually taking effect. Right. So like they move like really? that's what you go do from, gonna, from you're here you're gonna, you're gonna to do the that? here. And do I'm the talking. About, I'm like, talking about no, but not the jiggle factor. Like it's but, DOA. Like, but like it's not like most CG like video right. games and all that stuff where if if a guy or girl is naked, all their parts stay in the place that they were in when their shirt was all yeah. on. Like, these people, like, you could see it. Hair on, like, the women had body hair. Like, the, everybody, like, you know, it looked real. Like, their stubble wasn't even, like, symmetrical. Like, you know, there was oh, a lot of I apologize. Cool I apologize, chat. We have grossly neglected 
Yeah, so many I was trying oh, to tell so, you about There's a it, lot going on. But you, I couldn't breathe. Well, you wasn't breathing long enough for me to stop and say something. Well, if people in there trying to give them love. Yo, know you yeah, everybody, see, you, you got. There were a lot of people who um, left some really. Let me scroll back. Up we got a lot of hearts, heart, heart like, eyes. Look but, at it from like, if you scroll from here on down, these are all the little oof. positive comments that people in the chat had to say well needless to say we're gonna we're we gonna we're gonna make some mention of some we have uh i think it's asan mcdaniel she said shuri is injured inside of the soul stone we can only hope so because if they don't bring shuri back it's gonna be a problem yeah. I no. mean, they have to. Yeah, because there's a Black Panther too. Right. And on top of there being a Black Panther too, at some point Shuri he, takes on the mantle went, of Black Panther. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they're not gonna neglect actually making that a thing in the Facts. you know MCU. So. She she getting you the Spider-Man money, treatment. You know how much money they could make if they did a like a Black Panther three with with Shuri with Shuri as the Black Panther. You know how many. Women will be back in of color. Well, it 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 turned into a Dunday all over again. It just it all it'd be crazy out here. And huh. Tef Tef said the trailers haven't added anything to the hype or the mystery of this movie. It's just emotional nonsense at this point. We agree. Cut the trailers. Let's just get on to end game. Um, that's a, that that subtext is about butt stuff. Ashley Johnson <laughs> said, "Respect the fro. It has become its own thing." Uh-huh. I'm just saying, definitely respect the fro. Uh, <laughs> He said grew the hair. Javier said he grew the hair and grew the confidence. Fro is illustrious. Fro is luxurious. The fro is dope, yo. It's a lot about the fro. Uh, he's about to transform into a super saiyan. I, I believe, I can see that. I can see that. I get it a whole lot. Um, uh, always give a big number or say forever in a loving voice. I get away with it all the time. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and Jeff said Flash fell off two seasons ago. I don't, mm-hmm. but you're right. <laughs> you are entitled to your yeah, opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> Legends, it said it lasted six episodes and then it sucked. A bunch of big uh, Black Lightning fans and Punisher fans. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Triple Frontier. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, it was Triple Frontier. It was... Uh, I, watched, tri- I watched the first hour of it and I liked it so far. I think I caught up on everything. All right, good. All right, we caught up on the chat. So if anybody, if I missed anybody, I apologize. We trying to keep up with everybody. We, I mean, there's this huge influx of all these comments, and whoever said Kablam was on Liquid Television, you smoke too much weed when you're uh, a young child. Leave five years alone. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a caller. Oh, we got a caller in? Oh, wait, no. Oh, oh. I was about to say, 877-226-0998. If you want to call in and talk to Steven, <laughs> or if you want to talk about any of the things that we've already talked about, if you don't feel as though that... uh uh. uh Flash sucked after two seasons. You call in. We we, we want to hear you out. <laughs> but um, just know at in about eight minutes we're gonna finish out our March Madness and turn it over to Jay. We have about eight good minutes to kind of get to know Stephen. And honestly, there's if you if, if you get a chance, you know we're gonna repost some more of your videos on our fan page. And, and so y'all kind of get the, 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 the breadth and, and scope of, because I think you have a good message. I think you have, I, I honestly, in all the comedy, and it, within the comedy, and even within the way that you approach how you say things, some people feel as though, mm-hmm. you, and yeah, you know I'm going to go here. Some people feel as though you're doing it to try to either draw in women because you're a strong at ha 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 wifey said let me hear you ain't gonna do that while I'm on the mic <laughs> a lot of people and listen he got wifey right here with him so she can answer the questions a lot of people feel as though like um and, and forgive me for the comparison but it's the best way that I can explain it to our listeners Derek Jackson catches a lot of heat there it is yeah I, 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 there I, it is Derek Jackson <laughs> catches a lot of heat for being a strong advocate for feminism and women, and sometimes men really get angry at the things he say, even when he's being truthful. Now, I know you've talked about it in your videos. That's why I want to bring it up. You've said how many times that guys were like, why are you always so tough on the fellas? When are you going to talk about these women? Why do you approach it as such a strong advocate for the women and kind of leave men 
to fend for themselves when you deem necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of paraphrase what I saw in a post that I saw the other day. It was specifically about Arab women, but it kind of applies to all women of color. And somebody was asking why Arab women are so loud, you know, in, in correspondence to their, their parent, because they're Arab asking the question. And the answer that they received to that question was, when you spend your entire life not having a voice and not being able to make a point, you realize that raising your voice is the only way you can make a point because otherwise you're not going to get heard. Basically saying, women don't have a voice unless they stand up and scream, but then when they scream, they're problematic and they're an issue and they're annoying and they're nagging, etc. If you would have listened the first time, it wouldn't have been an issue. Mm. But a lot of people don't like to listen when women talk. That's very evident in a lot of social media. That's very evident in a lot of, you know, real life. It's very evident in the court system. It's, it, it happens everywhere to the point where a lot of women have taken a step back and their defense now is, since you're not going to talk to me like you respect me, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you say what you got to say and I'm going to just wait until you're done. And then maybe I can go ahead and get a word in. I speak so much for women in particular specifically because there's no reason to speak for men when we've been the favorite this entire time. Why am I going to speak in favor of somebody that's not having an issue caused by women. You don't walk around at night afraid that somebody's gonna slice you up, take you to the side, do something that I'm not gonna say preach, on air. Preach on it, boy, go on. Yeah, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. You know, that's not something that you worry about. So right. why sit there and act like you have these issues caused by you being a man when you don't have those issues? Being a man has never caused you any problems. At most, you might have got rejected by somebody and you might have got your feelings hurt. I'm and he sure. deserved it. <laughs> and, granted, and granted, yes, there are crazy women out there. I'm fully aware that there are crazy women out there. I have friends with horror stories about how their ex-girlfriends broke their stuff, took their stuff apart, uh, sold them out, won't let them see their kids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, I get that they exist, but they don't exist to the same margin as men doing the things that they do. Also, I don't feel like it's my place to tell women what they're supposed to be doing. I feel like if a woman is going to come forward and say that, it would be best to come out of her mouth to talk to other women because I'm not here to police police what women say and what women do. Bravo. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I would, say louder for your people in the back. <laughs> see, I would just say this. We have a, a, a admin chat of maybe around 15 people who kind of police our fan group and – we put your name in the chat, and every single sister in there was like, when's his episode? When's his episode? And I, it's, it's kind of cool because, honestly, sad, it's, it's a sad point in where we live where it it's special when women have a platform to speak. Mm. It shouldn't be that way. It should be a regular thing. It, and but I, it's not a regular it's thing. Not an, it's, it's not a regular thing. So you do need... A, Women don't need anybody to do anything for them, but it is a benefit mm. when men champion causes that do not benefit themselves. Go ahead, Jay. I already I saw you lean in. No, I was just gonna say, like, you know, it's not a crime to be an ally. So all the people thinking that he's doing it, you know, despite him having a girlfriend for ass, if I'm allowed to say that. Um <laughs> is ridiculous because now it just sounds like women aren't allowed to have allies. Women aren't allowed to have people speaking out for them if they're not speaking out for themselves. So that's just a very flawed argument. And maybe if more people did come out, you know, that weren't women, that's just like asking why he doesn't advocate for white people outside of all the historical issues. He's black, so why is he gonna speak about white issues, Hispanic issues? He's speaking on what he knows. He's a black man in America. That's what all his videos are about. It's not about calling out men for being trash. It's about, hey, there's some things that we do as black men. There's some things that we do as men in general, and we need to do better. Mm -hmm. Ah, she used the tongue. <laughs> I felt like family guy. Ah. <laughs> and typically, ah. and typically, if you, and, and, and this is Kurt saying this, and once again, if you got an issue with what Kurt says, by all means, DM me. <laughs> if you got an issue with what he's saying, typically you that trash nigga, period. Honestly. And I mean, I mean nigga in a broad sense that you're ignorant because ignorance is a disease. It literally will spread like wildfire because it's nothing worse than seeing the comment section because it's like a Petri dish. Because mm -hmm. all it takes is one ignorant comment and then everybody else's ignorance 
seems to permeate throughout it because they now they ha they feel like they have the license to speak mm -hmm. against. With, and I've seen it. I've seen the men, and I, I I don't comment as much because I don't have time to argue the way I and and I am I am I, I argue similar to you. I like facts. I like references. And when I come to you, I'm going to come to you with the real. Now, if you give me a, a lot of opinion and emotion, we could talk about your opinion because then I'm going to always defer to you're allowed your opinion. If you feel as though women don't, that, that, that it's wrong for a man to stand up for a woman, or if you feel like it's wrong for a man to advocate for women over men, or if there's not a balance, then that's your opinion. You're entitled to that opinion. But please let's not act like <laughs> the scales aren't tipped in our favor. Same way, and, 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 and I, I just want to make this one point, the same way that we yell about white privilege to the hilt, you understand that, but you don't understand male privilege? That's actually an argument that I commonly use. I, 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 <laughs> and as soon as I say that, all of a sudden the comment section gets real dry and people stop responding. <laughs> <laughs> what I, 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 I lie to you not. And one, one, I'm also a big fan because we're both big fellas. And I love the fact that you're very comfortable in your skin and you advocate for other people to be comfortable in their skin. He starts off one video, which I was in literal tears. He was like, yes, I'm sitting here naked and I'm just mentioning this so now that the comment section can be dry. And I was like, that's right. Call him on it because body shaming does apply to men as well. Why is that such a big topic for you? Um, I feel like a lot of people don't realize that everybody got a body. <laughs> so it's kind of just like to sit there and say that men don't experience body shaming. It doesn't make any sense. Do we experience it to the extent of women? No, never will. Right. It's never that deep. You Every, every TV show you see uh, constantly builds the plot around big dude is able to get a hot wife and live his life the way that he wants to. Yeah. It's a common theme big dudes do get love where they get love from society but even still we do still face body shaming and i think it's very important to talk about that a lot of people don't like to talk about that right a lot of guys are very insecure in their skin whether they're the buffest dude out there and they've been working out their whole life or they might have ate a couple too many twinkies and now they packing a little extra that they don't want and the gym is taking a little while to cut it down or even if they're absolutely comfortable being as big as they are there's no reason why you shouldn't be allowed to be comfortable in your skin. You have to live with you every day. Listen, so, y'all. If y'all not following this ball, I'm t I don't know what to tell you, man. Honestly, it's very few people out, out, out on the internet that I follow that I enjoy because of positivity and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that you're trying to be entertaining. You're just being you and you're honest. Mm -hmm. But the same way that... You know, you, you have your just hilariouses and, you know, everybody has their little social media people that they like to follow. This this young brother is definitely somebody who tells it like it is, keeps it 100. And, it, you know, Philadelphians, we love it when you keep it 100. So if you get a chance, just drop all your handles on Instagram and Facebook real quick. Oh, um, well, do you want to drop those in the comments while I talk? Sure. Um, <laughs> what's it called? So Facebook is just it's Stephen Wade Jr., I'm, you spell Stephen with a PH. Uh, my Instagram is at Shy Monroe. It's all one word S H Y Monroe. I hope you can spell Monroe. <laughs> um, <laughs> and my Twitter, my Twitter's, my Twitter's a little more uh, on the not safe for work side, but my Twitter is uh, at Afrocentripetal. It's a word I came up with by myself. Don't even tell. Don't even tell them how to spell it, because if you don't know how to Google that, then. You, you, I mean, if you, it, it's literally like centripetal force. Just take the word Afro and put it in front of centripetal and you got the word. At Afro centripetal, capital A. Cause, like half our chat section got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was waiting. I was waiting to see if any comments would come up. They said centrical. What? I'm, 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 looking at, I'm looking at the screen now. <laughs> Listen, follow the young brother. And honestly, I'm telling you right now, don't come with no foolishness. Because they block button come quick. They don't play around. And it, it, nobody's got time for negativity. But if you want some positive feedback, if you want to engage with Steven, if you want to see what he's all about, like I said, we're going to post some videos on, on, our, our, on our fan page. And definitely we, we indoctrinated them as fam and family to the show. I can't wait 
to do some more things down the pike because I got some plans for Stephen. But that's a whole nother conversation. Mm -hmm. We have Marvel we have Madness. I'm going to do one of my announcements. You going to drop an announcement? One. We got a caller? Uh-oh. Oh, 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 well, I guess I'm not going <laughs> to do it. <laughs> they, caller was like, F your announcement. Hey, caller, you on with the head nurse in charge? We have our special guest, Stephen Wade Jr. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is uh, Adam White Chocolate. How's it going? Can you, can, can, hold on. Uh, Stephen, can you hear him? If you can't, go put those headphones on oh, real quick, good yeah, brother. Yeah. You can put them underneath. Oh, does it fit around the front? Hey, we good. Hey, White Chocolate, you on the line with Stephen. Do you have a question? Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Um, actually, <laughs> um, I at least um, when I last chimed in, it was uh, I was listening in on um, about body positivity. Um, Speak up a little bit, uh, uh, White Chocolate. We, 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 we it's kind of hard to hear you, bro. All right, is this any better? There Sorry, you go. Listen. That sounds good. You there? Did we lose him? Uh-oh. Yeah, we lost him. Oh, no. uh, that's all right. Um, it, yeah, it's all, it, listen, it. sometimes <laughs> we got Metro PCS phones. It don't always work out the way we want it. <laughs> White chocolate. Bitch, Make sure you right. call back. It will bring you right back online. But until then, go ahead, Jay. You said you had an announcement to make. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see. He stole I... your thunder. I know. but we No, no, to... no, 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 no. It actually works in because it's about body positivity. Uh-oh, talk to me. Uh, for about a year now, I mean, years ago, I used to be a game developer, and now I'm getting back into the industry, and I'm working on, if you follow any of the J1 stuff that's, like, on Twitter or Instagram, especially Twitter, because that's, nobody really messes with our Twitter, so I just use that as a way to, like, hide stuff. Or, gotcha. Um, I'm putting together... You know what Power Rangers is. Of course. You know, in Japan, that's a genre, not just one show. Uh-huh. A lot of people in America think it's one show. Right. And so I took the genre of, you know, tokusatsu, or, you know, some people slang it as just sentai, but the show is super sentai. It's, it's, long story short, I'm doing a quote-unquote ranger-themed fighting card game. Oh! Where it's a tabletop, like, fighting card game. It's a collectible. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck building, fighting game, where it's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm actually working on it. We've pretty much finalized the one-on-one -on -one aspect. We are dabbling in the 2v2 team battles and a 1v3 style battle, um, where you build your hero, because that's what they're going to be called. The, the game is called VT Heroes, All right. Virtual Tournament Heroes. It's a uh, story wise, it's if you took the idea of like that Power Ranger genre and it was a publicized sport like MMA. Got you. And different one on one battles between these characters. Go like, on. Gladiator, like, like, like gladiatorial type arena stuff. Right. In the game, you build your, your hero based on your attack and defense, all that other stuff. That gives you your color. You can pick your color. You can pick your animal. Like, you know, like... Yeah. Whatever. I got you. You, you add-ons. Right. And then so, whatever element. So when's it all dropping? I'm going to have a physical copy for people to demo and ta play test in November at J1Con. Oh! Beep, beep, beep. So <laughs> come to J1Con. <laughs> And they will get to be able to test drive. Yeah, it'll be a whole presentation. And we're putting together like an hour-long presentation with some celebrity guests. Oh, you showing off. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't don't be vague with me, Negro. What that, celebrity guests? No, come on. If you're going to give me a name show, drop. Give me a name drop. Jay, give okay. me a name drop. All right, give look. me one. Give me a name drop. I, it don't count if you don't give me a name drop. I'll, I'll just give you. Give it up, Big I Daddy. i give you some music. Oh, come on, man, with the suspenseful, all the extra. Give me the name. No, I, I want the name. Jason if you So, like... If you couldn't hear that, it was called... It was, it was the theme to Rangers in Space. 
So I don't know exactly what he's hinting at. I got. I, I want the name, but we we'll, we'll we'll revisit that on the fan page, and we we'll drop some more information. But, I'll actually see if I can drop an image of the the art and the logo and stuff for the game on the. The pay on the chat. Oh yeah, that way if you share it, share it to J One, we'll we'll definitely put that out to all our fans. So definitely stay locked because there's a lot more J One Con information coming up. We got Greater Philadelphia Comic Con that we're gonna be at, and Sassy is gonna get auctioned off. No, no, we're, you're not being auctioned off. Yeah, I am you so. Just I'm sorry. I keep auction. I've been trying to sell you for like a whole year. Um, she's gonna be doing. Uh, <laughs> Why do you keep trying to sell? Her? Oh, oh my god, that's I, what he does. Don't, don't oh, say that. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. I'm, you, I, I'm not trying to sell at Sassy. <laughs> we're we're going to be at Greater Philadelphia Comic Con where if you want an opportunity to go out on a date with the lovely Sassy with her consent, you could buy a raffle and be put into a pool and we're going to do the blurred dating game with my man Sean Meehan mm -hmm. and guess what? You get an opportunity to buy her dinner and watch her eat because that's basically all that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to be nice about it. It's probably going to be food all over. Place and then I'm gonna be reaching over the table on your plate, be like, You gonna eat this? <laughs> if ever you have gone for ramen with sassy, you know what I'm talking about. But aside from that, we have Marvel Madness, we have eight combatants left in the game. Jay, take it away. All right, listen up, it's gonna be real easy. Y'all vote, we gonna discuss. I need all y'all to vote now. The panel is gonna vote. And we need those in the chat to give us your opinions. But remember, all these heroes, you have to stay within the realm of the MCU. The MCU. Don't use comic book references. Yes, we know that that war machine became the celestial being and had godlike powers in some issue that we don't remember. But we're talking about exactly what he was able to show and do within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So everything has to stay within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you use that as a basis for our argument, Mr. J1, take it away. All right, let's make this quick because we ain't got much time. We got about 20 good minutes. I'm going to check with the warden. Ward, what we got, about 20 good minutes? Yeah, we got 20 good minutes. We're going to run through this because it's special. And this is, we need everybody to just state their facts and in all caps, Put your winner. All right, we're gonna go through this quickly. Starting off, the first fight is Thor versus War Machine in the cinematic universe. That's not even fair. That's mm -hmm. not fair. That's not even. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair at all. Not fair uh, at all. all right, I'll start. Go ahead. At the end. You put your vote in. All right, come on, man. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Son, Sometimes it's a one-sided yeah. battle. We know. Folks. Odin's son. Come on, stop it. Sassy, what you Sass. think? I'm in agreement with him. I second his opinion. Jay, how how you feeling about this? She just give me the head nod. She don't even Storm have to. Breaker. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's Thor. That's. <laughs> I mean, we, this, this is not even one to even talk about. All right, so far, and then we got Look, three chat, online. Yeah, chat's already popping. Thor. Uh, Someone dropped a hammer. Yeah, somebody <laughs> definitely dropped a hammer. All right, we, we got to stop the fight. Stop, stop the fight. It's 10 nothing already. All right. <laughs> Oh, Addison, Addison said, "Stop playing." <laughs> Someone said that's just. Hey, by weird. the way, Addison, we going to the barn after. Meet up. Uh. Yeah, we do. And, and mercy rules take place. If you are beat by five, we gotta stop it. All right, we gonna jump into Hulk versus Vision. Ooh. Uh, uh, you wanna start this off? Our friendship is solely based Ooh, on your answer to wow. this question. And um, please don't disappoint me. Cinematic universe? Yes. This is, Marvel this is Cinematic not, Universe. This is not the comics. This is not the cartoons. This is not the video games. This is Cinematic Universe. This is Hulk Versus from the... Ragnarok. That's that's his peak so far. I'm going I'm to say Hulk. <sighs> I knew. I'm I knew. I, I, knew, I, knew I, I knew that was my kindred brother. Mm. Now, understand. No, don't Hulk you say thing. anything. Shut your lips. He said Hulk. Keep it moving. Jay, what do you feel? Um, MCU. We got we. It's all MCU so far. We got two for Vision, two for Hulk. What? Who did Vision? Block, block. What? You're not blocking her. Yo, cause Mark is a hater. Mark only. What? Mark's only picking Vision cause he hates me. 
Oh, and you God. you went for Hulk, right? You you Yes, I know. You stop it. Uh-huh. Hulk or Vision? I'm going to go with Hulk just cuz It's okay. I don't know a lot about Vision, honestly. He, he ain't important. But you've seen what he but can I've do on seen screen. What he can do. Yeah, but I'm still going to go yeah, with Yeah, the Hulk. amount of times he got bopped in that movie. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If He's it's not MCU, combat ready in the MCU. Honestly, like, at all. the way Thanos, Thanos didn't have to disrespect him like that. Yes, he, he, he Once pull- was enough. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled him back and was like, you know what? Let's run this back. You, you know what, though? You know what? Thanos handled both of them easily. But why Why do you do this? I, every every episode, this entire March Madness, what do you have something against Bruce Banner? Did he take... Did he take your candy as a child? See, but I was going to say, the argument that that Thanos was able to beat the people involved, that's like saying, okay, so because Batman can beat Superman, that means that Batman can beat anybody. Right. But that's not the case because Bane beat Batman at some point. Broke his whole back. Broke his whole back and left him out of commission. Could have killed him. Yep. And he didn't even really beat Bane because it took Azrael to come back and beat him. But I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm putting my vote. For what? Vision. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Only for a few a few things that he could do. I, I hate you, Ace Hood. I hate you. Yeah, hate me all you want, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are we looking like numbers wise? It right is now? eight to five. Don't tell me Hulk. People are voting. Hulk is winning. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, you know and what? Now you get happy because like, you know my. Wait, listen, the Green Machine got to win this whole thing. Oh my God. Addison said Hulk caught all the hands. Addison, I um, I, I don't think that you're that intelligent. So I I, I think you should stop <sighs> commenting. Hey, that's my best friend. To be fair, that. Hulk caught the hands from arguably one of the strongest people. They had to face like, and holding the power stone. Yeah, I was. That wasn't even a fair fight for Hulk at the time. Come on, but we already know no, he's gonna he pull back in game. But he didn't use the stone when he fought Hulk. He gave True. him straight hands. Look, Mark. Mark. And the thing Mark was, Carter says, "Smart man, Jason. He bigging you up." Because Mark is a good man. <laughs> Listen. See, but even considering what he can do, based on what we saw in the movie, if we're just going off the movie, I can't give Vision the W. Listen, Vision couldn't even handle. The uh, Ebony Maw. He couldn't even handle them chasing. He he was he, he I got think he body can the a, a rage monster like Hulk. The only time Vision was even relevant was in Civil War and Ultron. He was irrelevant all of Infinity War. Yeah, that that that's fine. Everybody got their day to shine. Hmm. What what's those votes Cause, at? Because where because where's Hulk right now? Where's, where's those votes at right now? Where's Hulk right now? Where, where, where's no. Those, where's those votes no. at? <laughs> a, a, answer, no. Answer the question, Jason. Where's those votes at right it, it, now? It's nine six. Nine six. I think uh, in the uh, interest of time, we should go ahead on end that right now. Okay. Sounds like Hulk one. Sounds right. like Hulk one to me. That to Hulk. Oh, beautiful. Hey, listen, y'all. Thank y'all for your intelligent uh, mm-hmm. arguments and um, supporting the Hulk. Continue to do such if you want to uh, keep seeing the show. What? Um, <laughs> all, right. all right, real quick, next round, because we're just running through them real quick, because uh, time. Mm-hmm. Ghost Rider versus Doctor Strange. And it's Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost versus Rider. Versus Doctor Strange. So it's Robbie Reyes. The Cinematic Universe. Oh, and I, he's the Sorcerer Supreme. This shouldn't even be close. I'm, I still this would be, this made. is the only. And I'm that's what him with the Time Stone, I'm, I'm, right? I'm, yeah. I'm going to start it off, because I'm going to paint a picture for you. Doc Strange wins that because Doc Strange. Are you gonna put a little oh. tree right here? <laughs> Bob Ross reference. Sorry. Go ahead. A little happy tree. A little happy tree. A little happy tree. Because <laughs> a little happy Doc tree. Strange is the only being right now in our lineup, especially to be able to defeat the immortal Ghost Rider, who is just this wild hell spawn that right. even when he goes to hell, comes right back even angrier. Agree. And the only person that can stop something on that level would be Doctor Strange. Put him on an infinite loop, he'd be stuck. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Steve, what do you think? I can agree with that. And on top of that, what is it? Isn't Ghost Rider like a he can only hurt the wicked kind of character? Right. So. Well, Re- Reyes has a different setup, right? It's uh, Johnny Blaze mm. can only uh, hurt the wicked, but I think Reyes has a little bit more leeway with that. But the premise is still the same. But even still, just the skill set that. that uh, Doctor Strange has in comparison. I don't. I'm gonna give the W to Doctor Strange. And I see the number going up. Yeah, and you, it's you, just you, not fair, Doctor. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, um, <laughs> mercy rules. Look, J- Jason, I don't even need to say anything. It's just mercy it's, rules. 
And I, I, I'll just say this in conclusion. Source of Supreme. All right, here's here's something between me and you. All right. Captain America versus Spider-Man. Why are you gonna do this? And hey, you know what? I, hold on, hold on. Let me just um, let me just get this out the way. I love Cap. I love Cap. And we shaking hands. And you know I think Captain America, but it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man can lift cars. Spider-Man is superhuman. Spider-Man has his spider sense. And though Captain America, I can make a strong argument for his tactical prowess and his leadership for this Spider-Man. And I admit, if it's MCU version, that means he has the iron spider suit. That means he has all the technology that Tony Stark gave him. He is an experienced. And I think Captain America has proven that in the MCU, he can handle large threats, but I think Spider-Man takes the win. And that's that, definitely it, it hurts. It looks like it's about to be a mercy rule in a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Addison, I'm also Addison, voting Spidey. I can't believe I had to say that. Oh. You made me say that. Addison, you, you, you wrong for thinking that. Addison said Cap. All right, I'm riding with my man. No, F no, your no, Spider-Man. No. F your spider Forget Peter Parker. Back. Cap all the way. Steven Rogers. Here's the thing. We talk about the Spidey now versus the Cap now. Still can't beat the reflexes and the raw strength. The man I know. held I know. up. The a, a, a airport bridge. Well, no, even he held that, he held the ship together with tensile strength of his uh, of his webbing. I mean, I get it. Spider Man is, is is dumb strong. We get it. We get it. Sassy, what do you feel? Spider Man, but now I'm in my head like, what if Spider Man and Doctor Strange get paired up against each other? I'm gonna be sad. Well, I'm already like, sad. Look, Good, you can join in my, my Spider Boy he and my husband. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to snap on Addison. He didn't beat Spidey. Mm -hmm. Spidey wanted to make sure that structure didn't fall down, so he they just walked away from each other. He Basically. was just like, I'm gonna hold this up. If you and that was Spidey's first real mission. <laughs> like. I can't even say. even Cap was like, I all right, you, I you, you know, let me <laughs> let me just trap you in this situation. Let me trap you in this situation so I can go fight the other cat. So. I put it like this. Daniel says it. I can't say it on the radio, but he says Spider-Man would figgity 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 F up Cap. <laughs> uh -huh. and, 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 and yeah, it would be pretty And take big. his shield from him. Why, why you got to be I'm sorry. It happened. It, it you, happened. It all right, fast. moving on. Cap, Cap loses. Hey, Cap, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> What All we right. got next? I don't even want to do this, but I'm going to skip that one to the now, uh, to the end, because I, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do Hulk versus Thor. 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 I'm handing it to Thor. We talking about Thor now. You were, Y'all were doing so good. Thor. So y'all were doing so good. <laughs> Jay, the, the, Jay, I'm the way firm she in just, my decision. <laughs> the, way, the way she peered into my soul, like, boy. Just shut your pocket. All right. I, I, I'm not going to make a long-winded because we don't have enough time for me to truly defend Hulk the way I want to. All I'm going to say is Hulk proved that he is a gladiatorial champion. Thor did not technically beat the Hulk. Hulk has already punched Thor through the uh, in the first one. They they are at a standstill. They are technically at Word. a they were at a standstill, and then he got the Stormbreaker. Dang, why you bring it up? Why is he like? <laughs> if we're talking about the MCU, Thor takes the W, and you know it. I do. He, he took a star to the back. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mark says, if I say Hulk, I'm racist. <laughs> 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 and, and to, to keep my comic book credibility, it is definitely MCU Thor. Oh, wow. I can't. I, I, that. I, that was but he he beat Seder. He, hey, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Mercy. Oh, that was bad that you had to like break down off of your high horse of like Hulk stuff and be like, you got it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy, you love my you pain. You look so miserable. I, I, I just <laughs> lost. Listen, for y'all, I just lost Cap and Hulk back to back. Have you no shame? That makes me happy. All right. We got, we got one more fight. Spider-Man versus Doc Strange. Here we go. Oh, now I get to watch the tears flood in. Doctor Strange. Come on, bro. I, Wait. I'm saying Doc Strange. Yeah. And I'm I'm rocking my Spidey. I'm rocking my Spidey. And this I'm, is, I'm this saying Doc Strange. Good. Doc yeah. Strange. Yeah. Wait, what did, did the thing just happen? I missed it because I looked down. Who went Doctor Strange? Is that what I said? Why well, no? It's too late. <laughs> <And> no. <laughs> That's right. Cry. 
Cry. Cry me a river. Oh, Doctor Strange, I'm sorry. Cry me a river. I don't feel so good. Me neither. Ah, oh. uh, you know, I fade away. On the inside. Get out of here, Dusty. Oh. You know, everybody's saying Doc Strange. I think it's it's pretty. Are we mercy ruling? It's it? a wrap. It, I, I didn't add it? y'all to. And no, then, you already know Doc Strange. And then here comes two more. It's yeah, a wrap. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Because you know what? Let's <laughs> all right, all right. Because right, right. this championship is now. This championship one is about to be mean. All right, now third place. Third place is who? Spider Man and the Hulk. <laughs> Spider Man and the Hulk tie for third place. The, the, who would win? A uh, Hulk. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Hulk, I mean, Hulk smash. Puny if it was the comic book version, it'd be a different story. But it's not. Nah, it's not. But this it's is the totally MCU. Not. I have to say, Hulk would beat the cat urine out of that <laughs> poor boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for real, he'd be kitty litter again. Um, Spider Man is not built to handle MCU Hulk. Nah. Period. Nah. Ladies, what not do you think? Yet. Ladies, you agree? Yeah. Unfortunately, I know. I know. <laughs> Everybody loves Peter Parker, but uh, sorry, he's spider paced. All right, come on, Jay. What do we got for this championship? I mean, everybody, I'm waiting. To, it's seven one. That's. I'm gonna zero. take. I'm gonna take one from Hulk and just give it to Mark. Spidey, what? Hey, listen, Mark. If, 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 for those on the I'm podcast, I'm gonna take my vote and put it in Spidey. Because <laughs> I know he's gonna do. Do we say no? No comic book thing. Did anybody not understand? Because y'all still keep saying it. That's not Look, how that's working. This right is not here. how it's working. It's MCU. <laughs> And if you're listening on the podcast, there is this one evil little man who happens to be a part of my family, evil my cousin, Mark Carter, Mark. because he's a trash human being who just wants to torment me by saying Spider-Man. But we all know Hulk wins that one. I'm imagining right. him right now being like, come with me yeah. in the whole no, he's, time. He's just being the drunk It is draws eating cereal. <laughs> yelling bump there. Now, really. now. With con funk. We, we, have, we have a battle here. <laughs> it's real. This is actually really good, because I think we're going to have to use up all 10 minutes to discuss that. This, this is the final. Well, it might change if something magical happens. No, right? no, because they both got... Let, go ahead. They just drop... Who are Who is officially in the championship? Thor and Doctor Strange. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, Doctor dum, Strange dum. with the Time Stone? Yes. Yep. Yes. And Thor with Stormbreaker. Oh. See, but Braun don't beat time. I was gonna say, yeah, he come still, on. He can still, pre- he still knows what's gonna happen. He can predict his movements. He can predict the outcomes. Like it's all right. And Thor starts Unless to get brash after before now, he now, can do it. Now, True. Now, but can, wouldn't he be able to I agree with y'all. I want to give my vote to Thor, but can I just throw something in there for you to discuss? Mm-hmm. Loki is a is the god of mischief, mm-hmm. a master of magic, and he's been fighting. Thor forever, and Thor always bests him. Well, that's because of plot armor. I, that, I, listen, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm mm-hmm. talking about MCU. Okay. Yeah, and, and and listen, Thor is specifically adept to go up against these people who are powerful. And I mean, Thor defeated Seder, and he was he destroyed all of uh, Asgard. So before we just give it to Doc Strange. It's, let's not act like Ebony Maul didn't hand him his behind with the time stone. Didn't he, like, poof him somewhere, though? Wait a minute, say it louder. I said, didn't he poof him somewhere, though, in a movie or whatever? No, 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 he, 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 got he, he teleported it. him, like, on some surprise thing. Yeah. I, I want to see what the chat <laughs> said. Doctor oh. Strange has way too much utility, whereas... Yeah. Thor is a lot more brawn, a lot more, I'm going to hit this and hope it explodes. Yeah. This is Superman, know. Batman. Yeah, kind of, except Doctor Strange ain't no punk that's just going to sit around and uh, right. get his back broke and come back later. Like, he... Yeah, no. Thomas O'Brien said Doctor Strange. Jeff said Doctor Strange. Rod Joseph said, said, as Doc, Guardians Doctor gain Strange. strength as they get older. That's very true. Uh, Daniel said Doctor Strange. Uh, Felice said maybe Thor. There is no conviction in maybe Thor. <laughs> none. None. Addison said Doctor Strange, and I think Addison's pretty intelligent in this. Oh, aspect. now you want to agree yeah. with him because he's talking about something you like. I think Thor would actually do some damage. Damage doesn't mean winning. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, I he, 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 remember now he's techn- he has like the power of like he has old spot. Yeah, he's he's, so he's old not son. regular Thor anymore. He's a, he is the god. So he would probably use some energy just 
burst of lightning just coming off of his body but that we, could actually but snap are you speculating hold on are you about to give me hypothesis and speculation have we seen it in the mcu yeah. for it to in, be valid yeah, yeah in infinity war when he came into when he came back he teleported off the body he, he got the body teleporting cross. in yeah, damaged the, people i got yeah. you and he, then he jumped in the air once and was like bang and everybody was like Oh, all right, this is a problem. Okay, all right, so what you're saying is the argument to Doctor Strange teleporting him somewhere is he could open a Bifrost and get right back to where he was quickly. He can come back. And the thing about Thor, Thor don't like to give up. Yeah, but Thor also doesn't know how Doc to aim for the head. Yeah, but you know what? I bet you now he will. <laughs> Thomas just brought up that he ha Doctor Strange has all the Vishanti stuff, which are gods in themselves. Ooh. And he has the cloak. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we if, listen, let's keep it 100. If we start running down everything that Doctor Strange has at his disposal, that means we got to talk about the Sanctus Sanctorium, which tips the scale because guess what doesn't exist for Thor? Asgard. Mm. Now, if, he, if, if, if we talk about, okay, he has a Sanctus Sanctorium, but Thor doesn't have Asgard, he's by himself solo. Literally, Stormbreaker is the only relic that he has to tap into. So it's not like he could go back to Asgard and get the destroyer armor or any of that. It's done. It's 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 gone. So I, I'm I'm just saying not raw physical power, but raw magic. The amount that Thor has <laughs> is <laughs> enough to disrupt us like some of those barriers barrier spells and stuff that Alex Brown makes it listen, Alex, we made that exact same port, point. Thor can summon his own Bifrost, but Bifrost as we've seen in MCU, is only for teleportation or, or travel. Mm. It hasn't had any other additional powers that we know of yet. Not that I correct me if I'm wrong. If you're in the chat, let me know. So can we just go ahead and vote? I need. It's it's five five right now. Really? I need anything that's involving my husband. You can count on my vote to be Doctor Strange. So. Hold on, wait a minute. It's really five five. And it depends. Has some the pan people aren't making direct votes. They're just saying what could happen. All right. So has the panel voted yet? What's it called? My boy Koji just said he, he can't. He can't quite call on his magical power in the same way that Strange can. At least not in the MCU. Right. Agreed. So, Agreed wholeheartedly. So we're okay. Right now it's six five. Right. It's yes. six five. Yes. Yeah. Six five. Doc Strange. With no panel votes yet, or does that include our panel votes? I think I dropped my no, I didn't drop my vote. Ooh, okay, wait a minute. The center. I the, said the, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I have yours. Okay. I, you two. I have. I have yours. I haven't voted yet. Oh. I'm gonna drop it on Doctor Strange. I'm gonna drop it on Doctor Strange. Yeah. So I figured yeah, no, yeah, I was. I, I, <laughs> I just <laughs> being difficult. He I just like that. Assumed you were a smart uh, man. Uh, uh, well, he assumes correct. Right, is there anybody go. else for Thor? I'm telling there you right some now. Thor's coming in. Oh wow! All There's right, Thor's coming in. What? No, shut Alex, your pie holes. Don't yeah, say let's, that. Yeah, let's 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 get ready to start blocking these people. <laughs> Rob, just drop in. Uh -oh. Stop talking. Someone it, else said strange. It is now nine nine. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is raw. This Yo, is, this like is we're literally watching it like fill up. And we're... It's now nine nine. I so... didn't tell anybody to vote. I take that back. So we need we, we need one more person. We need one vote. One new vote. John, where are you? Don't be calling on your boo. Oh, that, that is some that's, shit. That's our Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> just calling I, choose Pokemon. You, John. I choose you, John. Listen, we need one new vote. Some Did Khalil say? Because he just said Dr. Khalil Strange. Khalil said Dr. Strange. Yes. Uh, no, no, I did get Khalil's earlier. Okay. All right, so wait a minute. Is so it is it still 9-9? Are we are we capping it I at twenty one votes? Earlier. If we're not doing repeat votes, this? I think it's nine nine. Thor Odinson no, wait, from wait, Real Rap. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I God. think. Wait a minute. I think Khalil's no, Khalil did not vote. So now it's twenty twenty because Real Rap just put in one for Thor and Khalil just put in one for Doctor Strange. And mm. so did this person. They just said Doctor Strange. Jermaine said Doctor Strange. That's yeah, it, baby. Come that's on. Two more. Come on, bro. All right. Call. Call it. it. Call it. it. That's it. 11 to 10. 11 to 10, Doc Strange. See, and you know what? That's interesting to me because going into that, Doctor Strange, did anybody really have Doctor Strange as their, their pick to win it all? Because I would have thought Thor. Honestly, with 
I, I don't know. Like, just as soon as he started doing that thing where he was looking at all the futures and all the different uh, possible outcomes, I kind of, I kind of wanted to bank on that. I agree with you. I think his fight with Thanos solidified how boss Doctor Strange really is, and the fact that remember, Doctor Strange didn't lose; he allowed it. Yeah. He. he yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so it's down. All right. Third place. Third place is Hulk. I feel some type of way about that, but I understand it. Second place is Thor. Thor, Odin's son. Say the whole name. And first place, Doc Strange. Doc Strange. So, so our, so the official H and I C standpoint is, Doctor Strange is the most powerful character at MCU. Now, mind you, Captain Marvel was not a part of this because mm-hmm. the movie had not dropped when we started it. So please, yeah, we are we, not we anti-woman. This. We. we Please don't be upset with us. And so we already know she can uh, collapse <laughs> yeah. stars and whatnot yeah, based on exactly. what we saw so far. Exactly. We just did not have her at the that beginning. But now I want to throw something out here to the group. Hmm. Doctor Strange versus Captain Marvel. Who you got? Based off just the movie. The movie dropped now. Doctor if Sh- it's just Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to hand Captain Marvel. Yeah. Honestly... I don't know. The reason why is because I know the potential of Captain Marvel, but what the movie showed was not that level yet. I mean... Like, the destroying of ships and all that stuff, every Avenger has done that since the first Avengers. Hulk has jumped through... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm Doctor Strange all the way, only because Captain Marvel has You know has what I mean? Like, they have been... More. But she... I mean, okay, yeah, this You can't her, take potential. But this was... Yes, it was her origin story, but definitely when she... F- are, are we allowed to yeah. talk about the movie? Yeah. Definitely when she, like, you know, overcame, you know, the... I, it, like, the, the inhibitor. Yeah, like, what was stopping her from really unlocking her power? She yes, went Super Saiyan. Yeah, she went... That's that's why I'm choosing her. And I understand, you know, th- that might just be the beginning of her power, but just seeing that... Was enough to sell her. I'm with it. I get, I get, I I'm mean, not, and I'm not. I mean, tr- even I still, intellectually, Doctor Strange might be the one that takes that. I put it like this: um, There's actually a couple good arguments in here. Alex Brown said Stormbreaker, and he's going back, but he made some very valid point. Stormbreaker negated the magic of the Infinity Stones. It took a full blast and still went through it. Right, but, but Doc but, Strange has magic outside of Infinity exactly. Stones. He has magic from the universe itself. Like He used the bands of Cinerac. I, I keep re- y'all don't under If y'all look up the bands of Cinerac, and I need you to understand, for him to call that on, that's that's like Juggernaut's power. Like, I, I can't geek out the way I really want to because we don't have enough time. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I truly believe that a Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange battle. I think one more movie, and we'll have it. I'll have a different tune. After Endgame, I feel right. like I'm gonna be singing Captain Marvel's praises. Right, right, right. I, I, I like the or character. Carol Danvers, because I, I hate saying Captain Marvel, because I always I, think of Shazam. I like the character. I, I like where it can go. Right. I'm. If, if it's based on our rules that we set for this tournament. I get she, you. She's not right. on that she's, level. She's yet. not on that level. Like, look how, like, really sit down and really think about how two people like Thor and Doc Strange, and in some ways even Spidey did it, and Iron Man. They all had their moment to fight Thanos. Right. And Doc Strange put some work on, on, yeah, on yeah. Thanos. Doc, like, no, Doc, uh, Doctor Strange Doc was the, the highlight of that, and and Iron Man showed what the bleeding edge armor could do. Mm. I want to I, let me let me add that it's that specific armor because anything else It'll he would have got <laughs> listen you'd end up in a tin can and just to answer your question Rod Joseph he said what's up with Phoenix versus uh, Doctor Strange well see we haven't really seen Phoenix in the MCU we have seen Fox's version I hate Fox's version so anything to do with the X-Men series that Fox puts out gets trash but I still think Doctor Strange takes it and you see all these comments, you gotta give me some fun so I can go do this Captain Marvel 
thing because there's like three or four different people in there being like it, it, they Captain Marvel would have won if I cosplay. <laughs> okay, so Sassy, you we need to we, we need to get you now. Uh, we didn't already got you a Raven cosplay. Now we got to get you a Captain Marvel one too. Yeah, I, need a I need someone the to lady coat wants. me in butter. Would you what? Um, you you got your rubbing cocaine now. <laughs> oh, God, no. Listen, God, listen. Ah. You, you got. We, we almost got to end it on a high note. Um, uh, right now, I guess we get, we, we, we kind of freestyle it until the warden comes back. But we got rubbing cocaine. We got Steven, We had Jay. We have Sassy and myself. We just cleaned up Marvel Madness, and we officially crowned Doctor Strange the winner. All March, we broke it. We started with thirty-two characters from the MCU, and Stephen Strange is the one who stands alone. Mm -hmm. Endgame is going to be a game changer. I think none of us will be the same. We weren't the same after Infinity War. We sure weren't. Um, <laughs> Stephen, I, I, I have to ask you, and I know it's off the cuff, but could you grace us with just one, it, one of your rants where you tell the folks just to do a little bit better? I mean, I need a topic. I, okay, all right. I got you. I got you. Let's talk about toxic masculinity. Okay. What about Because I, 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 I noticed something very recently with Cardi B. Mm -hmm. A lot of people saw the comments of Cardi B, mm -hmm. and they brought up, well, how come we're not canceling her the same way that they were ready to cancel R. Kelly and Bill Cosby? Now, give me your viewpoint on that as a whole. Because I have my specific idea on that. But I, I, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but it is a topical thing that a lot of people are buzzing about. What do you think? Um, I mean, it depends on what we're getting into. Because one, we, we knew who Cardi was when she came out because she <laughs> told us who she was. She told us who she was before she was famous, when Facts. she was making videos. She told us who she was when she was on Love & Hip Hop. I believe she was on Love & Hip Hop, right? Yeah. And she told us who she was when she became famous altogether. So we already knew she was with the gangbang and stuff. And with the stripper stuff and whatever. So I'm not surprised by what was said. I don't know why she exposed herself like that. Bruh. <laughs> but then again, this is the kind of person that she's been. This is the kind of person that she is. She talks about herself in a very transparent and honest way. So she came right out and said what she said. And she should have been canceled before that. I d Ah, okay. Now that's bold, and I love that you said it because this is what we do. We just being honest. Listen, ladies, I'm sorry. If we're talking about canceling out toxic masculinity, we have to cancel out toxic femininity as well. Come on, they say if you disagree, you can disagree. It's not that I disagree. I don't agree with the term toxic femininity because I don't believe that exists. Okay. Oh, I love this. All right, so. Allow me to retort. Mm -hmm. toxic, toxic masculinity is where men take this uh, idea of what masculinity is and use it to their personal game or abuse it. Mm -hmm. We got four good minutes? All right, good. All right, I'm, I'm going to surmise mine real quick. Uh, in my mind, when I hear things like that, I attribute it to toxic femininity because what it's doing is feeding into the stereotype that women can only use sex as a weapon to get personal gain. It's a toxic behavior, and it's attributed to her femininity. That's why I combine the two. Go ahead, Jay. Give me, so, give me your thought. I think, yes, women can be toxic, but I feel like the term toxic femininity is as non-existent as reverse racism. Ah, I like that. Okay, I could accept that. I could definitely accept that because I hate that term. Because, like I said, everybody can be toxic, but there's just some things that, like, don't exist. Like Just like when they made All Lives Matter... But right. As a combatant to Black Lives Matter, there's no toxic femininity. A lot, a lot of it is toxic masculinity. But what a lot of people don't realize is that you can be a woman and perpetuate misogyny and toxic masculinity onto your kids, onto the people around you, onto society. That's just that. That's a thing that. Yeah, it, it, that it definitely happens. is. I, 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 I like where you're going with that. But we as far as her situation. One, she should have kept the mouth shut. I would have. If, if, if there's some incriminating stuff about you, you got to keep that to yourself. Like whenever people make jokes about rappers telling on themselves in songs it's and true. they're wondering why they get arrested, you can't tell everybody everything. And I get that you have a story, 
But like, there's only so much you should say before you start incriminating yourself. Unless you got Jesse yeah. Smollett's lawyer. Right. <laughs> she said it. Because then you can do whatever you want. She it? said it because she knew she was going to have a majority of the, the community that follows behind her strongly still be like, oh, that that's cool. Because of, let's be honest, for the most part, the people who are her strongest part of her fan base, they right. sitting back looking at this and being like, high five to Cardi because I would have did that ish too. So that's why but she that's probably true. put it out there because she knew they wasn't going to care. They still right. going to be listening. But yeah, uh, outside of that, drugging people, I don't think that's ever okay. <laughs> yeah, no, regardless of the incentive and regardless of what you're trying to do, but at the same time, if we're going to because people were talking about incriminating Bill Cosby and incriminating R. Kelly, but that's not even happening, realistically. Yeah. You know how long it took to actually incriminate Bill Cosby? And then on top of that, R. Kelly, from what I can understand, has somebody pay his child support Boy, yeah. and get him and out a, and get pay it. his bail. So he's coming women. out on top. Yeah. Women. Women did it. I don't even want to talk about that because I'm I'm very we gotta come. You got to come back on the show. Listen. I, I'm very disappointed in old head women that like R. Kelly. Then come on. All right, give me my rent, man. Like, I just, I don't understand how you can co-sign that. But then again, I can understand it's a generational thing. Yeah. Because for years, it was all about, it don't matter what he did. We need a black man up there doing the damn thing. And they don't even care about the stuff that happened in their own family backgrounds Whoa. and the shadows. I'm going to go there because a lot of people who come from a certain um, generation of people, and I can speak on that firsthand from my own family, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that people just choose not to discuss because they've framed their minds that this is an okay thing to have happen. So if you think that already, then of course you would look at R. Kelly and be like, oh, them girls just being fast and fresh. As usual. They, they they too concerned with Robert Kelly and not Uncle Robert that come over for the family uh, mm. picnic. Mm. I, I, I put mm. it like this. We, mm. you see, so you, that you know you got to come back, right? Cause of course. We, we, <laughs> we, kept it, we kept it real geeky, but there, we, one thing that we, we're famous for is really getting into some topical situations, a part of the culture. Mm. And that's one of the reasons why I deeply enjoy your videos. Brother, keep doing what you do, and and, and and keep keep advocating for people to do better, because it's a simple term. Why why that term? Um, it was the first thing that came out of my mouth at the end of one of my videos, and I didn't always do it either. Right, I, I know. One yeah. day I just said it, and everyone was in my comments like, "Yo, can I get a do better shirt?" Can you put that in a hashtag and put it on a shirt and send that to me? I'm still working on that. Mm -hmm. But like, I got a like, vendor oh, for you. Don't worry slogan. about it. We got big like, things coming. And I'm just sitting here like, I've heard people say do better before, but I guess it didn't have the same ring. Right. So now that I'm dropping that at the end of every video, either in a regular accent or in a British one. Like, <laughs> do better. I love to do better. <laughs> yo, I, I think, yo. Uh. I fanboyed a little bit for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jason. Don't judge me. Forget you, bro. No, because it's super cool because when you see it and you laugh at something. See, I'm a comedian at heart. So it's. It, I was always interested in, is he really trying to purposely be funny? Or is that just him naturally? Because if you're entertained by an individual who can also educate you. Because mm. there's a couple of things that I didn't agree with you until at the end of the video. And I was like, Hmm, maybe I ought to rethink this thing. And I can genuinely say, not every point that I understood at, at, at first, but if anybody can help you to revisit our preconceived notions and do better the next time, bruh, that's powerful. That's powerful. Jason, look, you, you got anything else to say before we get ready to get up out of here? Oh, you always dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Um, I gave my little hint. Don't don't remind them what that music was from. Right, I understand. But there is talks of having specific colors of groups showing up at J One Con to mm -hmm. be part of the demonstration for. So BC every Red Ranger ever existed is going to be at J One Con. That's what he getting to. I'm just uh, that's cut. That, that that's that's. That's a spoiler from Kurt. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to really be. I don't know. Jay, is, is Jason David Frank going to be over there? No. Yeah, 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 he is. You lying. Yeah, Yo, you know you a powerful dude when you got three first names. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. beat that. Yo, Jason David Frank. Frank yeah. Oh, he's, man. Yeah, he's a beast. 
He walks in and his name got prominence. We, we, we got <laughs> hmm? Why? Why are you whispering? I can't hear you. Never they, mind. They can, they can see you whispering. It makes it weird. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? No, they I'm were saying, plotting to kill us no, after the show. I said, I'll, so I'll, if I end up missing, no. that, Ooh, that's what we're not going to do. Says, I love y'all, but everything's not for you. I'm sorry. I love y'all though. No, no. She just leaned in and whispered. She said, "Nigga, I'm ready to go get this henny in the show." Ooh, that's, that's not what I said. I don't even like. She, 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 she actually me, said, though, "I would never drink that garbage." Um, she <laughs> said, "You need to hurry up because I'm touching cotton." What? <laughs> I don't, wait, what? That's it's when someone when you when you are holding in a poop and they start peeking out and oh, touch your drawers. No, that's, that's a turtle head, that, bro. That's a turtle head. That's also talking? touching cotton. Oh, really? I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. See, this is why we need to go. All right, so. Listen, y'all, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, go out and get some rubbing cocaine. And uh, by all means, follow Steven. And I, we, we're going to post some things. J1 Con's coming up. GPCC, thank you both for coming all the way down from New Jersey. It was like an hour ride, right? Yeah. About an hour. Uh, it, listen. It wasn't uh, bad till we got here. The roads? <laughs> oh. Yeah, bro. welcome welcome to Philly Potholes, bro. If you didn't know, you know now. I sure do. I couldn't even see the lines. <laughs> I'm about to say, we will leave you with no rims. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy, you got anything to say? Um, People, yes, keep promoting me because you're doing a great job. Because, so, um, where was it? Uh, yeah, his son had just said that apparently last week, and I didn't even know the camera was still going. When I got up, some heads turned for me getting up. I'm oh, sorry. They saw now, that we're going to have to sit this time. But, yeah, keep promoting me because I need as many people as possible to come to this. And yeah, Sassy's news will be out at the end of this year. And um, by, don't blush now. No, oh. it's, it's bye-bye time. We got to <laughs> And my news will be out next week. Um, Listen, mm -hmm. y'all can pay me to keep my clothes on or you can pay for my news. Either way, PCRadioLive.com. We here with the warden. Warden, get ready to get us pieced out of here. Remember to keep us locked at Philly Coalition Radio on Facebook, P underscore C underscore radio on Instagram, or PCRadioLive.com to listen to us live streaming. We'll be back Wednesdays 8 to 10. We do this thing here all April. We about to get lit, y'all. We out. Each and every week, we bring you rich guys. <laughs> nothing but hard shit. Hey, look, I finally found something I cannot bootleg. This is Mambutu Make a Dollar, the number one bootlegger in all of America in Philadelphia. I'm tuned into PCRadioLive.com, the number one internet radio station in the whole world in Philadelphia. That's right. How do you bootleg?